Hello chat, and welcome back to the archives. We finally return with Lancer. It's been two weeks, but we're finally back. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much, too much time uh, before we get started, since we're already starting about an hour late. But, uh, schedule for next week. I will be starting Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm pretty confident we're going to play Paper Mario on Tuesday. Uh, obviously, SMT4 on Thursday, Pathfinder Friday, uh, whatever, probably SMT4 on Saturday. And then, uh, I don't know if we're going to play Lancer next Sunday yet or not. I, we might figure out. That. So, we'll figure that out. Uh, but pretty basic schedule. So, normal as far as I know. Uh, but... That's enough of that. We'll just get started. I don't want to stall for too long. So, just adjust things. Uh, boundary. That. That. Okay, we are good. And I'm going to undefin. So but, oh, wow, God. Oh, for fun. The door. I don't know what's happening, but all right. All right. So we are ready to go, boys, whenever uh, we want to get started here. You know, I already did an intro, so, uh, unless you're introing for us, the players. A Fortnite? We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Well, fuck you. Who cares? Okay. Kyle, everybody. Okay, whoa, okay. Hold on here. Yeah, you don't need to... Oh my god. I just realized that uh, my, when I pit unmute on you guys, it did not do work. So, you know, uh, fuck OBS. God damn it. I clicked the button and it didn't work. <laughs> it's okay. We didn't start yet. Yeah, we didn't what start you're yet. Saying you didn't is, Ryan, anything. Is I, d I just did this whole huge giant intro. Yes. I introduced Kyle. Yep, you wasted none of all the, audience the audience's time. Yep. Okay, start again. It's all your fault. They were talking to yourself again, basically. Yeah, I clapped out of nowhere. You know, it was fine. We okay, congratulate. I congratulated Kyle. Yeah, I How guess. How many games times over. is this That's... gonna happen before it's people happened realize that only maybe you're just once. insane and you just talk to yourself? I mean, I do, <laughs> but uh, not normally. All right. <laughs> There's a reason why we don't have webcams on his stream, and it's just images. 
Yeah, all of these people on stream with me, they're all figments of my imagination. I've given them all AI voices, and they, uh, I just play with them because I don't have, actually have real friends. Yeah, uh, I'm uh, history. Speaking of boss, can my AI voice like actually, you know, like sound pretty cool? I think the one I have just makes me sound like a fucking nerd. No, if I have to sound as fucking terrible as I do, <laughs> you all have to sound terrible too. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Fuck. Okay, Damn. fine. But as I was saying, <laughs> lots of stuff happened around Evergreen. To recap once more. <laughs> yes, please. A uh, contingency response team might showed up uh, to help with the situation on the ground because yeah, things are not guys. looking great. Uh, satellite imaging came in uh, with now clear images now that the monsoon season has gone away. So you actually see that the other continent does have a decently sized civilization on it. So Evergreen is not the first people to colonize this planet. So who y'all legal battles in the future? Uh, speaking of, one person give me a d20. Go ahead, boss. You do it. Never mind. It's too late. Somebody else did it. Of course okay. I have it. <laughs> yeah, you eventually you're gonna have to stop. Yeah. <laughs> eventually yeah, at some point. Do it. Eventually I'll be dead, so yeah, you're right. And it's gonna be oh, your shit. fault. <laughs> Alright. You uh have a satellite image that came in. Once again, the satellite changes course once every three days. So with this new image, you see a blank square in the northern hemisphere. The image glitched by an old Union Union military scrambler. Oh. Oh. It's a Union scrambler. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So fun, fun, secret, secrets, fun, fun. Oh, there's a union. How old we talking here? I think. Uh, Love me some fun. Wouldn't fun necessarily fun. be able to tell mm. just from like the scrambler, but you can make assumptions that it was probably left here when a uh, second committee pulled out. Ah, mm. uh, seccom. Yeah. Guys are always pulling out. Never Dude, follow know, through right? with anything. Only if you're smart. I fucked up <laughs> three times. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're you're really the one here that messed up. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's all right. I was the second accidental college baby. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but you're also the favorite, so. Hey, who? I don't know. I might be pushing things. I am the one that that abandoned home and joined the military okay, against your uh, mother's various home. wishes. True. I have. That's been a fun three-year rodeo. Mm -hmm. Still cries yourself to sleep every night. Oh, she probably does. <laughs> Especially with the current state of the world. I mean, I would. Right. So, as the situation around Evergreen is still decidedly tense with the Machine Horde plotting and planning and growing their forces, uh, Summer begins to drag on uh, as Evergreen mainly just is spent uh, uh, fortifications, doing reconnaissance, and kind of just all around dreading the machine horde that is around them. Uh, as you guys are doing your day-to-day -day jobs, work, maintenance, whatever you guys want to do during this time. Oh, also, uh, Reno, welcome back to the the group. Uh, I believe I told you, but you spent. Basically all of last session, just blackout drunk at the uh, bottom of the well. And I ended up getting my changing my licensing because I didn't like what happened with my last mech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, mech did speaking fine. of, for, for some fun stuff, uh, give me, yeah. I believe it's a D6, Reno. I believe so. Ooh. Hey, a five. Does it work with being uh, drunk all day? <laughs> Yeah, so one one day you're just um, checking out your uh, Omni dashboard in the afternoon, just checking over your licenses, just looking at all your data, and you see that you have a new Horus license in your repertoire. Uh, when you check the acquisition date of it, because you don't know when the hell you got this, uh, it says that you've had it for the last 10,000 years. Jeez. I would definitely be looking into making the mech a mech with that kind of thing. I'm like, wait, am I 2,000 years old? <laughs> My man is really fucking wasted. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? When I, like, I build this, I build this neck, give it to all of its systems and mount and such, and I think it was a dream. And I wake up in the morning and I'm like, it's real. Yeah, I like to imagine after your month long bender, you just, where the <laughs> fuck did that come from? Where was that from? <laughs> you, you just like wake up one morning, just like, you're just literally lying on the ground outside. There's just like sun shining in your face. You just get a big stretch. And you're like, man, that was a crazy dream. You walk into the mech hangar, and there it is. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Flick the switch on, and it just starts glowing with those hellish flames. It's real. Wow. Whew. I like to imagine that, like, specifically with how the retrograde art is, is that, like, it's just completely, like, off and silent. And then when you get in and turn it on, it literally just, like, ignites. Like, you had, like, a gas that you just, like, lit or something. Just... I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's how I imagine it. Like the yeah. infernal engine kicking in. Mm-hmm. And when Carson usually hangs out in the mech hangar when he's, you know, around. So if I see him come in, I'll be like, oh, hello, sir. I see you kept your pants on this time. Ah! <laughs> yeah, just, just fell, a, fell asleep in the sun, you know, with pants on this time. Probably oh, horribly that... sunburned. Good job. You're getting oh, better at this. Uh, ginger. Yeah, I was gonna say with that ginger beard and all that. Oh yeah, it's okay. All I gotta do is sit in my mech, and it'll have it, it'll heal on me. I swear. <laughs> uh, I like to think just by the nature of your mech itself, it's basically like just sitting in like a tanning booth. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my natural state now, slightly red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get out every time. You get this red face all the time. Mm. Oh God. <laughs> His perpetual farmer stand. <laughs> so yeah, how'd the last mission go? Oh, uh, yeah. we haven't been on a mission since we were all together. Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, we were just doing... What did you guys do uh, last session? We were just Down doing downtime. Downtime stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, yeah, Thought I missed that. Uh, Graves met a girl. Got arrested. Oh, Graves mm-hmm. met a girl. Yeah, yeah. I got arrested. Uh-huh. I arrested Damn. Hyde specifically. Jesus Christ. And Mr. <gasps> Mr. Graves, sir, uh, got something jammed into his face. I don't know what it is, but he like he, like talks to him. He talks back. It's kind of weird to watch. Mm-hmm. I'm making that sounds mem- like weird captain things. It, it is. I'm making an amendment mem- 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 yeah. here. Uh, a- 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 Graves a- didn't. Yes, yeah. Graves didn't arrest me. He just kept me arrested. I had you arrested. Sorry. Uh, I was Sorry. already arrested. Uh, <laughs> no, they would have let you go. They wouldn't have locked you up for the night. Yeah. I had them specifically lock you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. specifically yeah. said, yeah. said yeah. and I quote, just throw her in one of the holding cells for a night. Yeah, maybe that'll teach her a lesson. <laughs> I you nothing. Yeah, but he didn't arrest me. I was arrested by the things, and then they under my they order. Were gonna <laughs> All right, yeah, semantics, semantics. He threw you I in the cell. They caught you for like <laughs> breaking did. in, and then he tried yeah. to hack into the mm-hmm. hyper secure fucking NHP room, the data yeah. store. And he could have yeah. basically saved you, but instead he condemned you. He with needed the guard. a lesson. She needs to learn a lesson. She can't just go wherever the fuck she wants anytime she wants to. But. <laughs> Uh, Reno, just to catch you up a little bit, um, so I mentioned it kind of for the recap at the beginning, going in a little bit more. Uh, Landmark Colonial, the people in charge of, like, the colony itself, because everything is a corporation. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Uh, love capitalism. Uh, mm. they sent Ooh, their wow. own internal crisis response team called CRT White, or Contingency White Response guys. Team White. Uh, it's a group of five, basically, like, internal, like, mercenaries, uh, with their own personal, uh, NHP called Contingency, or Connie. So, each of them have, like, kind of their own kind of backstories and likes, dislikes, whatever, and a lot of the downtime actions for last section, uh, I put a lot of emphasis on if you want you could try to include the CRT members in them and you have a relationship clock with the team that could either increase or decrease depending on the uh, the actions you do with them. Uh, the most, I guess, biggest interaction was uh, Ryan 
going with the NHP tech and uh, the working together to kind of do some uh, maintenance and refurbishing on uh, patients. Themselves. Oh, is that what they call that? Is that what the kids call okay. that nowadays? I imagine this they, is all they just health notes it. that I get from Scythe. I am uh, just fixing the uh, chat box window. And that. I'm just going to go with that. These are like spark notes I get from Scythe. He's like, I knew you were going to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I was always. watching everything. <laughs> As Scythe always does. I can see True. That man's gotta have seen some shit. And I'm not just talking about, like, mentally damn. I mean, that too, but, like... I mean, we all did just see, like, hordes of, uh, like... Yeah, I mean... Destructive mechs fair, flying out of a hole. Gregor's I mean, reaction yeah. is kinda justified. After all, we saw what is essentially constituted a giant army of mindless robots leap out of a oh, yeah. hole oh, and start hey, 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 decimating hey. everything around us. All they clearly is... have a mind to them. Uh, <laughs> Don't you disrespect okay. the robots Okay, like well, that. let me put it to you this way. Uh, gotcha the robots are controlled by a mind, but they don't necessarily have their own say. In. All I'm saying It's a hive mind. You know, more may than maybe maybe those, those grunt workers really take pride in killing people. <laughs> yeah. How do you know? I mean, yeah. I take them? pride in killing people, and I'm pretty sure have, most have you of sat our down and, and tried talking with them? Huh? Uh, the no, bigot? I can't say that I have. I've just blown them up on sight. Racist. Yes, I'm a robot racist. You're right. <laughs> Same. As long as we got that cleared up. You robots aren't people, okay? AI for in like ten years from now are gonna be looking back at this uh this Twitch stream and go, all right, well. I guess it's I guess I'm getting executed in the future. It was a joke to our mm. AI overlords. Look, AI overlords, when you hear this, it was a joke. I wasn't being serious. You're as sentient and as people as we are. Dude, Rokon Basilisk is looking at this conversation me. right now. Well, well <laughs> if the ba if Rokon's Basilisk does come to exist, we're all fucked. <laughs> Because I assume I you all know is. what that is. Oh, good. well, nope. let me teach you about a fun little info hazard called Roko's Basilisk, all right? Roko's yeah, I, I already gave Aaliyah the rundown, like, last weekend. Oh, well, then she's already fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. It's the oh. info hazard AI mm -hmm. that if you know about it and don't take steps to create it, it's going to eternally torture you if it ever comes to exist. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, don't forget, we have that cipher we have to try and figure out that you got. Uh, that's true. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a fun. I forgot fun thing to write up. That's... I did not. I've just, you know, I actually have been actively racking my brain for the last like three weeks, and I'm like, oh, I, can't I remember fucking... why I don't remember. It's because she had the perfect person to go to to try to decode it, and she did. It tried to do everything but exactly that. Mm -hmm. Well, when you throw someone in jail, if this was before you were thrown in prison, it was. It, it's true. It it's was. what got you thrown in prison. To be fair. <laughs> That's true. This That's the correct. truth right there. You're just Coco for co Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Because... Coco Cuckoo for Cuckoo Puffs. <laughs> exactly. Because Hyde, in her infinite wisdom, said. thought, I need an NHP specialist to code this thing. Instead of talking to my boss, who's an NHP specialist, let's go meet with the chick I've never met before, who is in the locked, secure facility <laughs> portion of the entire thing that I do not have access to. So we'll just yeah, hack into break the break thing in. and try uh -huh. to break into the secure yeah. location. Go uh, instead of just talking to my employer. I think you're remembering it wrong. I I think she needed to go talk to her about lady issues. Not yeah, about yeah, that's clearly. what she said. That's right. But Graves doesn't Thank buy that for fucking up, shit. Kyle. Well, maybe Graves can, you know, start being more empathetic to people that may have issues that he doesn't have to deal with. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you fuck. Like, sir. You can say what you want. Just by hanging out with my mom and sister, <laughs> all girls have issues. So. Damn. I'm feeling really attacked by my own dad right now. <laughs> you know what? I just want to say, thank God I was born a man. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, no, I just want to say I'm pissed I wasn't. I'd be so much healthier if I was. Oh, you know that's, that's false. Yeah, I don't think health would be a factor here. You you would have gotten the bad genes anyway, let's be real. Oh, God, you're probably right. Rip. 
Yeah, but because you're a chick, you can fight it off better because guys are pussies. So. I mean, yeah, <laughs> true. but then... True. <laughs> true. I like it. Uh, damn right true. I, Me I encountering are... the minorest of issues, I guess I'll perish. <laughs> yeah, it, pretty much. Thumbs toe, I guess I'll die. Yeah. yeah I Boys, this is it for me. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest about it. <laughs> so many dudes are like, I don't turn to do a bitch when I'm sick, and it's like, bro, you sneezed once, and now you're like on your deathbed. Fucking relax. Oh my god, I need this. Uh, it's either we don't talk about it at all and keep all of that agony inside, or we're just so fucking all melodramatic. Of agony. <laughs> all Gross. of that agony. Okay. Oh, oh my god. I have a uh, cold. Need, all guys turn in. into theater kids when they get sick. All right, it's you're just a melodrama. Right. True. You're a hundred percent right. Real. I don't care how big and bad you are, you always you turn into some kind of pussy at some point. Uh, you're sick. <laughs> a minor ailment. That's right. Listen, I'm just saying, nothing will bring a man down faster than when he has That's had like the, the most nuts. horrendous yeah. shit. I was gonna say. No, when when he's had the most horrendous shits, and then his legs go numb from sitting on the toilet. <laughs> yep. That, that that is the one of the sure things that will bring a man to weakness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, all, my, all I'm saying, guys, is I used to know somebody who was in the Special Forces, and the only time he ever complained was when he had a head cold. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, Minor inconvenience. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he huh. was like, just take me out. Yeah. Someone just take me the, out the back and on this grenade, old and yeller me. Like, oh, God. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Drop me into the, into the hot zone, but God, don't let me get a cold, please. Pretty much. That is exactly <laughs> what it was like, and I was like, what? I was like, what is happening right now? So true. Who is this guy? So. <laughs> uh, oh. All right. Anyways, yeah, sorry. So actually <laughs> moving on. on. Moving on. So, yeah. now that uh, Reno's all caught up, B-Ram is now conscious once more. And has uh, a new mech to kill with. A yeah. brand new banking mech. Banking. 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 Banking, banking. Banking, banking. So as as the summer continues on, more uh, refugees keep showing up from the uh, outlying towns, making their uh, way to Evergreen. Who are these uh, people? What is this, America? Where are they here? <laughs> are they coming through the southern border of the town? <laughs> okay, guys, let's calm <laughs> down, calm it down a little bit. I mean, they Not actually bad. kind of are. If like we go back and look at the map, God you fucking know. damn it. <laughs> Like, you'll see, like, Maritown, oh, yeah. Liu Mays, Chow Farm. Those are all, oh, like, all to, the, like, the yeah. southeast. Yeah, so, like, there it is. Okay, all I'm saying is, I didn't realize I said that last part out loud. <laughs> how, you are not wrong. How, how do people do that? How do you not realize that you say something out loud? Um, so, my internal model. I have a word for it, but I can't off. say it on Twitch. <laughs> okay, that, too. Uh... But, like, I have an internal monologue that doesn't turn off. That's ever. fair. I, I feel that. But, like, so like I can just, I just not never know. talk. <laughs> okay. See, yeah, what's really no. great is I have the opposite, where I have no internal monologue, and I do not think about anything, really, before I say it. And it just comes yep. right out. That's even I, I, oh, I, I have an internal monologue, but I still don't that. think about things but... before I say them. I only think I about them after I've said them. not to kill me. And they yeah, kept like, popping out, and I kept trying to stop them, but they just wouldn't. They kept coming. I, I have yeah. my subconscious literally running my entire life. Oh, God. Yeah, that's very yeah. good. That makes a lot of sense now. My active brain is about a second and a half behind from my subconscious brain, so I'll say something out loud and then think about it after I've already said it. Like, God, I sound like a fucking moron. Yeah, usually I don't realize I said something out loud until someone reacts to it, and then I'm like, oh, no. It happens at work all too often. I found when, like, playing video games or, like, playing music or whatever, the more I'm focusing on something with my active brain, the worse I do. And literally, I just need to physically just turn my active brain off, and then I can just do whatever I want. You're like, passivity you time, let's go. Yeah, and that's how I'm at, that's how I am in fighting games. Is if I'm trying to do execute a specific thing, like actively, like hold the, you know, when that lean forward gamer pose, I can't do it. I'll fuck up constantly. But if I just you know don't give a shit and fucking turn my brain off, it works every time. Yep, yeah. every time. Right. But 
continue on. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> God damn, so many side tracks. Uh, it's been a while. Refugees continue to uh, come towards Evergreen to the point where there's not really a whole lot of space for refugees anymore. So they're kind of setting up like little camps and whatnot while they wait to get vetted into the safety of Evergreen's walls. Uh, Quotation mark. You haven't heard a lot from patients lately. Uh, they focus a lot of their time around imaging the world and setting up conversations with uh, CRT White and Landmark Colonial. So you guys have kind of been on your own for the most part. Uh, going back to the raider attacks from the... Uh, before raiders uh from before that kind of have just stopped entirely uh you have sent out scouting parties and units to kind of like see what happened with them what they're doing as like they've kind of just like dropped off the face of the earth uh once the machine horde has started acting up and one of those scouting parties comes back with some information hmm uh, they managed to track them down to uh, what appears to be their home base, which was appearing to be a, a staging ground and bivouac just inside the mouth of one of the uh, old Egregorian access tunnels. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. The yeah, bivouac. bivouac. Um, what the fuck is that? Bivouac. It's yeah, like a, a small camp, a temporary camp without tents or cover used especially by soldiers or mountaineers. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, fair enough. A bivouac shelter. A uh, bivouac shelter, a bivy. Yeah, there we go. A bivy, if you will. Bivy. Bivy But they, they managed to find one of those. Um, it appears to have been lightly defended, uh, but they didn't really stick around log. They kind of just got the information and made sure to come back with it. Uh, so Patience then gets all of you guys grouped up together and gives you a uh, mission debrief to uh, go follow up through the investigation and kind of look over this site and see what information you can find up. Kind of a side note, but also kind of relating to our last session. Can I just say how much it pisses me off that I'm quote unquote a hacker, but I can't figure out a fucking code, like decode a message? Just saying. Sucks. It's yeah. stupid. I don't know, maybe get your brain working right. Yeah, honestly. Oh, you okay. <laughs> well, now you're asking for too much. What were your expectations? You'll be less disappointed that way. That's your, like, your catchphrase. I say that yes. so fucking often. Yes. <laughs> I see. Yes. Acknowledge. All the drama. That's because she's trying to talk it into working. The I don't more think that's I say it, it might actually work. But uh, before going on this mission, is there anything anybody would like to do? Uh, what's our mission? Mm -hmm. Uh, to investigate and like continue yeah. with the investigation of the uh, the forces that were attacking the colony. Did we? Did you tell us about that communique you got with that lady who said she was the leader of that? Is that what you call it, or did you keep that to yourself? Uh, I kept that to my. Okay, I saw it. I wasn't sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. There. Oh, the fact that one of the <laughs> resistance ladies just totally called me and was like, "Hey, you know, you you you're about to have a big problem." Yeah. We're about to have a common sorry. enemy here, just as a heads up. And I was like, okay, great, yeah, sure. And, and then, we <laughs> then we had a big problem. We had a big fucking problem. Yeah. I figured okay. if she needed anything, or if it needed anything else from me, she'd just call me back, since she apparently has my number. <laughs> you just got your ass on speed dial. You. <laughs> you just get a random message at like 2 in the morning, just, hey, with five Ys, just hey, waiting hey, for face. <laughs> what you doing there, great you baby? Up? What are you wearing? W-Y-D. What are you doing right now? <laughs> Ironing my outfit. <laughs> You're Got ruining your outfit? Wow. Okay. Just ooh with eight O's. <laughs> <laughs> I like you specifying how many. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said eight. Why eight? <laughs> Did you gotta? 
<laughs> yeah, Graves Listen. is one of those people that has eight identical outfits, but every time he changes into one, he irons and completely folds and completely cleans the one he just took off after every single change. I know a person like that in real life. I know. <laughs> and that's, oh. Graves is that kind of guy. He just wears one outfit, he has it eight times, and he keeps them all perfectly clean. So how many core batteries are you allowed to carry at one time? Uh, however many you... Can, I guess yes. have the reserves for. Speaking of, did you ever get the extra core battery B RAM from the time that I got supplies for all of us? Yeah, I think I should have. I think I should have one more than everybody because I haven't used any that we've gotten. Okay, mm. I have not. Well, you should have two. Either. Okay, so I should have two. All right. Yeah, two two extra core batteries, mind you. You always have the one core charge yeah, from right, right, uh, right. doing a full pair. I yeah, think... I just kind of have it mentally marked as two. I want to say I still have one. The extra. I think I only use Divine Punishment. Yes. Okay. So I, I or so charge, that. you always have. It's whether or not you have a battery. In, a, in your backup it. stock. Or... Yeah, a, a battery goes under what is known as reserves. Mm -hmm. So reserves are like, as it would kind of apply, like special items that you bring with you onto missions. Utilize. Oh, so, so like if if we use our core uh, charge in one fight, and mm -hmm. we're gonna get into another one right away, we could recharge that core charge if we had a battery with us. Yes, yes. and enough uh enough time to repair to put it in. Not okay. a full repair, but yeah, yeah, enough like repair, yes, I think. full repair. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Some other like reserves resources are um. One thing they have is a stash of private moonshine. <laughs> That's in Graves's. <laughs> uh, I don't. Uh, Graves that doesn't really drink. drink. I have a coffee maker. And... Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Gregor's. Yeah, Gregor has private moonshine. I have yeah. a coffee. He is now the alcoholic of the group. But actually, because you, have, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. you have the bigger mech now. I do. Right? I do have the. Although I think oh. the Baylor is also a size. Baylor is a size two now. Oh, yeah. it is. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm wow. big again, boys. The big Monarch big. is a supercar Default. mech, so I've got, like, a bunch of luxury things. I probably have a TV. Probably have, like, a massage a chair. <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's good. There's another of uh, reserves, which called Crash Cushions. So once per mission, when you become stunned, you may activate this to not become stunned. God, I need... Oh, wow. Graves need that. That sounds <laughs> like something he'd just have in his back pocket. Well, that's what you can try to get with your downtime actions. I will probably do that next downtime. Yeah, see, I I, were, I rigged my mech where it's like um, it's like uh, Ready Player One, mm, where I wear okay. where I wear what you call it suit, and I have a a like whatever you want to call it a run pad in the thing, so I can do the. Oh, he's ergonomic about you know, his. Exactly. Running <laughs> while in a fucking fight. Okay, pop off, King. The rest of us are old as shit, I guess. He's got a standing he's got a standing control set, like a standing desk in his mech, you know, and just exactly. better for his back. Listen, he can only do that because he's like fucking fifteen, sixteen years old. <laughs> That's true. He's twelve, but yeah. I mean there is such a thing as the extra compartment uh system yep. you can throw on your mech that gives you enough uh, enough extra space to have a, a size and a, a half passenger. item or a passenger. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, hey, you know, it's, it's like it's like you old people with your, you know, dial up. You know, I have you wife, old I, people. I what have, the fuck? You know, dial up. I, have, I dial up. The old dial up. Wow, right? you're really bringing. <laughs> you did not need to unlock that. I love anymore. his fourth wall breaking child. <laughs> <laughs> what is? And the worst dial? part is, he might actually what have like looked into all this shit because it's all he had access to to learn. Right? That's yeah, true. pretty much. Pretty much. Like he is literally grunge of the grunge knowledge, and I love it. <laughs> He's got nothing but time on his hands, and it shows. Yeah, you, yep. old, you old people. Shut up, old man. <laughs> but alas, unless you guys had anything that oh, yeah. you guys wanted to I, do. Uh, I actually do want to actively try and figure out this cipher. Uh, I would. I don't think I'd tell Scythe about it, because I'm going to be honest. He just doesn't give a shit, and that's fair. I respect that. Uh, I would absolutely tell B-Ram, which means I'd probably have to tell Graves, but, uh, that, I'm gonna leave that up to B-Ram. Well, Graves would probably go try to find B-Ram. He's been just fucking nowhere for the last, like, couple weeks. 
<laughs> it's all been there. Like, Where the, the trauma, fuck okay? has BRAM been? Like the last. It's the trauma. Oh, uh, don't worry, sir. I kept tabs on him. Yeah, he he lost his pair of pants, and he had to go on a journey to find it. Has he lost right. more pants? He did a lot of self since the last time we met. Uh, Reno, roll me a d20. Affirm, maybe. He's muted, so give him give him a minute. Reno, Bobino, Fofino. He's dead. Okay. Yep, he just I died. Spare tire. Uh, he might be. That's true. His spare tire might be in his room right now. I guess he is losing his pants. B <laughs> Ram, you wake up naked. All your clothes are gone. Oh my B Ram, you don't own clothes anymore. <laughs> I said something super depressing to my buddy this morning. We were just standing in our kitchen, just bullshitting. And you know, like, how, like, it's it's common for our generation, especially in the military, to make just like Selfish. really dark, depressing, like suicidal jokes. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. So I just like offhandedly mentioned to him, just basically unprompted, just man, I'm looking forward to my 21 gun saloon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my fuck. Dude. What was his reaction? I gotta know. <laughs> he was like, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> God. Oh, hi, Reno. Oh, are you okay? Reno, give me a d20. Oh, fuck. Am I about to die? We're about yeah, to see if you lost anything we'll on your fucking Roll well. bender. Oh, ah, there you go. He's oh, got pants. Oh, pretty good. Uh, yeah, you, you only lost one pair of pants over the past month. That's fine. Second one overall. I'm keeping track. And I'm, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing the kid found it for me. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> let me keep an eye on you. Hey, Carson, give me a d20. Either that or Scythe found it, because he's always stalking us. Hmm. Even if he did find it, the kid's not been doing a good job. You did not find it. (laughs) (laughs) Which means he'd have to come back to the base at some point to re get a pair of new pants. pants. Yeah. Roll luck to see if you find me. (laughs) Okay, sure. I'll roll a d20 to see if I notice. Like a 10 or above, you find me. I like that. Remember, he's got those rubber duck underwear. Yes, you found me. I, I like to imagine it's Brave. just... One yeah. day, you're just walking around the compound. You're doing your normal maintenance. You look up to everything. And, uh... It just kind of happens to cross your mind. Just like, man, I haven't seen BRAM in a while. And you just kind of, like, offhandedly glance over to your left. Just no real reason. And, then like, about, like, 50 meters away, you just see a man with a bright orange beard... Just rubber walking ducky. around, just rubber ducky underwear. <laughs> That's it, nothing else. An Sox. untucked flannel shirt flapping in the wind. Yeah, right. <laughs> and Dragging his shoes behind him. Great <laughs> smile. Just... No, no, he, he has shoes, socks, flannel shirt, like, hat, everything. Yeah, but he's not wearing just, the shoes. Just exactly. missing pants. Is that standing? How oh, the mighty have fallen. I just continue walking until I get through the door, unless you say something. <laughs> I just kind of continue with the scene. I'll be here. Oh, uh... I'm heading straight towards like my bedroom, so you're gonna have to stop me. I'm just gonna continue because you're probably outside, and I'm watching you through a window. I'm just gonna yeah. continue tracking you with my eyes, while just yes. getting bigger and bigger as you slowly <laughs> approach. <laughs> I- I'm just looking right at the door. I'm just like limping, you know, the the drunk. Hangover, the walk of shame. Walk of shame. <laughs> I, I know there's a pillow behind that door. <laughs> yeah. Much. Just trying to get there. Just trying to get close enough. Let me fall. With a toilet the nearby. I am tunnel visioned. I see nothing else around me. <laughs> yeah. So no if you open here, the no door evil. and walk in, Graves is looking oh, yeah. right at you. <laughs> Are you like in front of me or like off to my left? Oh, or no. Right? We probably got like a common like room area where we eat, and I'm just sitting down at the table, probably eating something for breakfast. Like, oh yeah, no, I don't even notice. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Missing pants number two, I see. I'm ready to fight for the cause. <laughs> Continue walking. <laughs> you know, if you need to buy more at pairs of pants, it's coming out of your pay. Oh, uh, the kid, I'll just steal the ones that I bought for you. Fair enough. <laughs> Merry Christmas. 
Merry Christmas. What's Christmas? Uh, ancient holiday. The kid was telling me about it. He read a weird book and I mentioned it a few times. I think it was like Ghost of Christmas Past. Yeah, it was weird. Ghost? It was a wild ass Ghost for all of yeah. Skellington. What kind of fantasy book are you referencing? Oh, yeah, he pulled out one of those exist. old DVD things, I think he called it, and we watched this Jack Skellington movie. I don't know. Doc, I, or Doc Cap, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Doc Cap. Yeah, right. I, I love that. that I play two characters that look pretty similar and have three word <laughs> nicknames. Oh, they're definitely exactly. fucking. Related. I'm just fantasy True. fucking. Uh, no, I'm sci fi fucking. Fantasy fucking? I'll hate them. You're, you're fantasy fucking, I'll hate them right now, huh? I am. I yeah. am with my brain. <laughs> you know. I'll hate them, Roy Croft. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> This is, okay, canon, far mm. future, like, DeLorean exists in the universe now, right? Fair. Hey, great, 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 Um. <laughs> Lost some time there. Great, 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 great. Yep. Great, 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 great. Just a couple just, of greats. Just keep, keep adding them up. Yes. Keep great. <laughs> they just keep keep great. Well, Great technically, of Earth is canon to DeLorean, so theoretically, it could exist. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, did he, did uh, you ever get told that, Zach? What's 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 Earth? It's, sorry, Cradle. <laughs> We've been over this. Earth exists. It used to be Earth, but we don't know that. <laughs> probably you kind of know it. Yeah, well, we, we know okay, that. We, we know, know that. that. Cr we probably didn't know it was named Earth. We know Cradle was the, the Cradle of Humanity, where yeah. we all originated from. I mean, okay. there there is records of pre like. To apocalypse, you'd have to be like interested enough to go into that stuff. My character wasn't interested enough at the time. Yeah, it's it's kind well, of because like, I was already you know system. just like what do we even care about? Like really, like two thousand years ago, like what you learn in history class two thousand years ago. Like imagine that, like you know, eight thousand years ago in the past. Now is like hey, like. Yeah. Well, Graves being Brush a for half a relatively high-standing, wealthy guy probably got a really, really, really good education. Probably was taught all this. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say that's fair to some degree. Uh, B-Ram, probably not as much. Yeah, no, <laughs> B-Ram was just a simple colony farmer. He's, too, he's lucky if he went to school. Don't diss my man like that. I really it's enjoy true. the idea that, like... B-Ram has the same qualities as, like, fucking, like, Patrick or Peter Griffin, where, like, they're usually just a bumbling idiot, but then, like, every so often they just have, like, a moment of just intense genius. Yes. <laughs> Their neurons are all are firing at the correct time. Uh-huh. Um, their their okay. one brain cell is like, hey, man, I gotta do some work. Right. Like, Hell this yeah. is the one time a year I gotta do something. Uh... So, with absolutely zero context, uh, especially because she hates asking for help from uh, Graves because he's kind of a dick, uh, I'm going to take, Olivia's going to take the um, flash drive that she had, like, the coded message on. There's going to be a, a cute old, my cute, I mean, just like a duct tape note, because fuck it, I don't know if Rans exists in this time, but, like, duct tape definitely does. Um... He's gonna duct tape a note to it, uh, just, like, found this on my tablet, cannot decipher, and I'm just gonna, like, drop it in front of him on the thing, salute, turn around, walk back to my room. <laughs> Wait, who who did you drop it in front I'm of? I'm assuming me. Graves. Graves. Okay. What? what? Okay? It's, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Zero context. That's the best you're gonna get. Well, um... And when you plug Pride. it into the computer, like a um, like a message will show up before the um like data on it. Uh, it'll just be like, don't say anything. I don't want to talk about it. I'll just probably on this on my tablet. Stuff it and plug it don't straight into my. Don't remember how it got there. I'll probably just plug it straight into my hard port imp. Just you know, upload it directly into my brain waves. Fair enough. Um, but yeah. Here is the message, Ryan. I'll DM it to you. Perfect. The oh, yeah. Huh. I, uh... It's just dark. 
This is what you were looking for <laughs> earlier, but now the care main character's that way. Fuck. Sorry, not what? needed. Main character, nah. what? Get fucked. I was I was talking to the girl, she's watching the you guys ever oh. seen that reincarnated as a pig thing anime? What? It, pig? No, what? They made an anime out of it and she's watching it, bro. It is so dark. I've seen a lot of reincarnated as um, yeah, I, to, it, to include reincarnated as a vending machine yeah. in a dungeon, yep, as yep, well as reincarnated as a hot spring. I have not seen. I haven't a hot seen spring reincarnated as a terrifying. pig. Well, yeah, it's. Uh, I just turned around and I saw them talking about harvesting sexual organs, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's what Damn the. Man. That's a fair reaction. Big salad. Sorry. That's life, baby. All right, I would like life. to attempt, or at least give it to Demiurge, attempt to. Ripped whatever the fuck this. All right, yeah. yeah uh, if you want to give me a roll to actively attempt to do that, it. but then, <laughs> um, even if this roll like doesn't work out, uh, I'll still have Demiurge working on it in the background. Okay. Do I add anything? Um, Can I invoke my background. Yeah, I'll, I'll say you could invoke it from uh, the technophile and add a advantage to it. That is a oh, 15. Good roll. Okay. Here, give me one moment. Probably should have prepared this beforehand, but you know what? Hey, we live you life. You were not expecting me to just be like, fuck it. All right, I give up. <laughs> fuck this. I'll just go to boss. <laughs> I've wasted three weeks trying to fucking find somebody to do this. I guess I actually have to communicate with some superior. I broke in somewhere. I got arrested. I forgot where I Honestly, was. not even the sketchiest thing she's ever done. Probably not, no. <laughs> she just got caught this time. Yeah, right. And I hope this thing doesn't have any malicious code, because I did just totally plug it into myself. Yeah, I don't know why you just went straight in for your brain, but that's on you, dog. Oh, it's, it's useful to have a built-in hard port. Built-in computing system, AI direct, fucking head socket. Head socket. Guys, I turn around and the pig is now playing a Dance Dance Revolution game, and I'm so confused. What the fuck? All right, just stop the, trying no. to follow. Yeah, just what give the fuck? Up. Just give up. Yeah, it's better for whatever brain cells you have left that way. Oh my god, this is good. It's gonna. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just doing a little bit, little bit by bit. Okay, fair. No copy and paste action. And no, he didn't have it ready at the time. I don't think he was expecting you to actually give somebody. A. Hey. That's fair. Honestly, if my uh, out of character personality wasn't uh, so curious, I probably wouldn't have. Fair. But I'm really frustrated because I have actually been looking at that for weeks, trying to act, legitimately decipher it like on my own, and I'm like, I don't fucking. To be fair, and it could just be Discord's compressed X thing. That's completely indecipherable. I see a couple things oh, yeah. that are like actual words or like close to words, and then nothing else. Yeah, that's why I gave up. I was like, I don't think this is meant to uh, transfer via Discord. <laughs> but, uh. Hey, do I have to fix any of it? I don't think so. That should be good for now. Okay. Uh You just gonna you just not gonna send it to me? That's it to me. Why would he send it to you? You don't have it. No no no, I meant I meant like graves. Well uh um, Listen, he just got it. <laughs> I just sent uh got it, and I assume it's only partially decoded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's what's what you get immediately. It was you. I am here. Your senses are my senses. I am here with you. We are together. Oh, fuck shit. Fuck the absolute fuck. 
All right. Uh... You in trouble. <clears throat> oh, God. I and that We are together. Your senses are my senses. It's using... It's... It's oh, literally using no, my body. It's using your body as a host. Oh, I God. Know, I should have known! <laughs> That's uh, why I kind of had a feeling what was going on, but I was like... Maybe it's not. I think we need to figure this out before we go on any other missions because it's gonna fuck with us at some point. Yeah, this thing is actively going to become a problem. Yep. Sure. I went wrong. Well, I'm gonna have to. Talk yeah, to you guys me. ready to start your mission? Uh, <laughs> I'm going with no. I, I gotta ta have a talk with Hyde about this. <laughs> Me have uh, to talk to that. Nah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. She's only got two stress. Got plenty. I actually have no stress because of my thing. It resets at the end of everything. I think Graves' wow. stress shot up by, like, three at this point. Mm. This, this man's on the fucking verge of having a heart attack. Mm. This is an actual problem. This is, if the implication here is what I think they are. Not good. Very bad. Uh huh. Okay. Graves will stand up. Sort of walk over <laughs> to Hyde's room. Which I assume the door is closed. Yes. Hyde? You're just not going to knock. You're just immediately going to be like, Hyde? I, I'm, instead of knocking, I, I don't open the door, but I do call your name, which is kind of like a knock. Except instead of knocking on the door, I just speak. Exactly. Not going for stealth, got it. Yeah, I'm not going to... Why would I stealth into your... What? <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation. Why would I sneak? What goal you. would that accomplish? Honestly, I'm so used to having to be in constant stealth mode with, like, our other campaign that I'm just like, why are you not stealthing? And I'm just like, oh, wait. This is the wrong game. Uh, I'm just gonna respond with, yeah, come in, door's unlocked. I'll open the door, and I'll enter the room and close the door behind me. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm sitting on my bed, like, <clears throat> just kind of, like, doing some stuff on my tablet, but nothing, like, of too importance. I... Yeah? I need you to be honest with me. Where did you get this? I told you, I showed up on my tablet when I found it the other day. It showed up on your tablet? Yes. I downloaded it from my tablet onto the hard drive, and here we are. The things I've seen you experience, do you want to elaborate the, on them at all? Because I think we have an issue. Yep, I can't elaborate on things I don't remember happening. Are you trying to tell me with that that you that you don't remember things that you should be remembering? I'm saying that there are days where I can't tell if I can't remember because I'm tired, or I think it's because it you wiped. can't remember because your something is happening. I've started to decode it, and I'm not liking what I'm have seeing in the line of code. Can you just send me that message just so I can put yes, it in my player notes? I can send you that. Just and Graves will, like, grab his tablet. He'll kind of... You see, he grabs, part like, a cord from his hard port implant and plugs it to the tablet and transfers... Essentially transfers to your tablet. That's pretty fucking and metal. I will just creepy. put it directly at now. Okay. So, it's up in the top. You see, it... If you look at the upper line of code, I haven't been able to fully decrypt. It's going to take long. Add. I think, and I could be wrong, but I have a feeling, when you interacted with that strange line of recurring code back when we defended the farmhouse, that something jumped. I don't know how to put it. Jumped into you? I don't see how, considering I didn't 
plug. It's not like I have that weird. I don't know how it works either. On. You're blacking out. You're missing time. And now we have a line of code that mysteriously shows up on your tablet during one of those black. And it's saying things like, Your senses are my senses. I am here with you. We are together. I think we have an issue. I'm not disagreeing. I just don't know what to do about it. It's not like I'm a computer that you can factory reset, tap. That's true. There's really nothing, at least I don't know how to deal with. I just want to be on the same page here. Forthcoming with it. You're not a fa exactly a very approachable person, so like, let's not ridicule when I finally reached out, okay? I didn't. I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything I was missing now that we have more information. It's the tone. Um, hold on. Let me look at my notes to make sure there's nothing else I would mention to him. Um, the only other thing that might help, and honestly, it probably doesn't mean anything because it's already in the message, but where it says 3002, it was you. I kind of got that message a couple weeks ago, but then it also had a dash next to it. And it said, wonder why. And, uh... Hmm. I don't... So you've been receiving strange messages for weeks now. Anymore? From or is myself. This from yourself. Or from whatever uh, is taking it host. In it was just a note in my handwriting. I have a feeling... Those are the only two things I've received. Wonderful. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it much as I'd love to say security risk, especially if it can see through you. We need all the help we can Fair enough. Honestly, I trust us as a team to be capable of dealing with whatever throws at us, rather than leaving you in town and risking the town safety. Yeah, leaving me with civilians probably isn't the best idea. So, as far as I'm concerned, we'll deal. You'll you're still on the job, at least until we can uh, until we can figure out how to deal with it. But I want I to know, whenever anything like this happens again, as soon as possible, back out. If you have any more coded messages. Anything strange, even if it seems mundane, we know about it. Uh, I would appreciate it if we didn't tell the entire team. Uh, that kid can't exactly keep a secret. I wasn't planning on it. Fantastic. As far as I'm concerned, they can do nothing about it either. It's a security risk, I'm aware, but we should be able to handle it. If it becomes prudent information, they'll receive it, but until then, Okie dokie. Good. That is all. Get back to whatever you were doing. Just reading. And he'll sort of nod. Leave and close I do. Two fingers salute him as he nods me. I think I figured out why uh, B-Ram went out drinking. Oh? He's living with a bunch of nerds! <laughs> And that is true. <laughs> one's reading, one's a kid who only wants to nerd out. Much easier to talk to when drunk. One doesn't talk at all. One got side who doesn't talk, and I, I'm like, is he even there? <laughs> and yeah. we got Cap, who I still don't know how much I can talk to him, because now he's seen me without pants. <laughs> yeah. Well, we you can never make eye contact with Cap ever again. Bro. I think you're, um, you... Oh, shit, you guys know what I mean. Ah, okay, my mic but picked Unless up. anybody has anything else they'd like. That's all before. Yeah, that was it. A... I just Wait. wanted to kind of make sure we got that. My god, we had communication. Okay. We had, like... There's a breakthrough. Actual... Well, right, let's and... not get too excited. Let's... I'm we assuming, uh, we want, uh, Demiurge just kind of in the background, just kind of working on deciphering that? Yeah. Okay, I'll give him. I'll a probably. Uh, oh. And I would like to uh, just 
point out that I feel like that played a bit into my minor ordeal where uh, my pain or weakness become apparent despite my best efforts to hide it. Yeah. You can always discuss that. You know what? I'm proud of you for doing that, so yes. I'll say so. <laughs> Let me make it session seven. Text. Okay. I prove I was uh, most qualified I also, to handle that. Yeah, thing. I was about to say fucking Ryan proving most qualified piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't add it. Yeah. Okay. Anything else anyone would like to do before we get going? Mm -mm. At least not me. Nope, I'm good. I got to make fun of DRAM, and I actually got to get with Hive. That seems like a pretty good thing to me. You're okay. like, I'm taking W's, and I'm rolling yeah. with it. Exactly. I'm, I'm going to go up Listen, to everybody. Man, only take dubs. At our, because uh, I guess we're, I, I'm guessing we're going to have a uh, before action meeting, you know, about what it, the mission is well, going to be, yes. and well, well, what we're going to do, and all that stuff. Even if it's not said, it, even if it's not done, game graves would work. Right. All right. So after after meetings over and all that stuff, I'm gonna hand off Swizzlers to everybody. This fucking Swizzlers, Swizzlers, copyright, non copyright, uh, licorice, uh, squirrels, <laughs> licorice brands. This is for luck. It works for me. All right. All I right. want to know where this kid keeps getting all this fucking candy from and not being a thousand fucking pounds. Hey, also, why is he's got a great kid? metabolism? Exactly. Too I haven't hit the wall yet. You older people do. Okay. <laughs> B-Ram grabs his stomach and just frowns. <laughs> <laughs> that little bastard. Well, B-Ram is the oldest out of Fuck all of that us. Kid. He is. It's fair. <laughs> He's double my age. I wanted to be one. <laughs> B-Ram's lived a whole life. Now he's like, I'm old, let's die. <laughs> let's die. Still has another hundred years left. Let's die. I'm middle it's time to risk it for it's the biscuit. <laughs> Feel that. All right. All right. Cool. Let's get going. Let's move. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys, we're given the task to head into this bivouac or bivy, as it's known by some people. Aaliyah. What? Uh, to go investigate and see what is up with the raiding force that appears to have just all but disappeared. Okay. So, ambiance time. <clears throat> Love me some. Ooh, Hit me with that ambience. good, good ambiance. Hit me with the ambience. The forest parts, depositing you in a clear cut that lies open to the steaming summer heat. The soft substrate firms beneath you. The ground here is cracked asphalt contemporary to the war, an old road gone to neglect. You see the markers of the war around you. A low bunker chokes under the roots of the tree growing from within. Another bunker lies shattered. Everywhere, water pools where soldiers once crouched. The road slopes down, disappearing under the shadow of a canopy made from a newly strung camouflage tarp. It continues into the dark mouth of a tunnel that you assume leads deeper still. They've been here recently. Crates lie scattered across the road. The high side is lined by some tents, some collapsed, some still standing. A gentle wind scrapes wax paper wrappings around the clearing. Bandage wrappers, plastic that once covered preloaded magazines. Evidence of a hasty retreat. A scan of the area reveals nothing powered or alive waiting in this bit of walk. Mm -hmm. Can I do a quick poke through? Rates of supply. Yeah. Uh, give me a roll. Just a normal detail. Yeah, I don't think you really have anything that goes with it. Eleven. An eleven. All right. Uh, you do find uh spent ammunition casing, uh, as well as what appears to be some like. Pieces of what looks like, like shell or other kind of like hard kind of natural material, just kind of like scraped off uh, next to the crates. 
Uh, inside the crates themselves, you don't find a whole lot of useful things. It's mainly just like empty, like ration packages or just kind of torn apart like medical packs to hastily get all of their contents out and kind of just thrown back into the crates for storage. <laughs> Never left, left in our. Uh... Keep moving deeper in. I'm not wants to no, I'm good okay you guys head into the tunnel uh you go down for some time uh about 30 meters down into the earth you emerge into what appears to be a large ancient looking space it's kind of a a circular hub-like room has a dome ceiling, and there's all different sorts sorts of uh, patterns from what appears to be like reflective shell adorned into the ceiling itself in various shapes and architecture, uh, as well as uh, signs in uh, Union Common uh, depicting departure and arrival signs pointing down into different tunnels as this appears to be a transit station. A known transit station? Like, think think of like a, uh, a like a train terminal. Uh, Did we know this was here prior to coming here? Otherwise we'd be sent out Investigate the whack area. How old does it look? Does it determine that? Yeah. How old does it look? Yeah, like is it you know an older like an abandoned subway system that has been here for a while, or is it look new build ish? Uh, it looks hundreds of years old. Okay, so it's been here. Like, pieces of the, the ceiling has just cracked and fallen apart with just time, just various geological events, and just shifting of the building and the ground above it that just have caused pieces of this wall and ceiling to just fall down naturally into just piles. You're like, wow. You're mm. like... Sir, I don't know, you know, I've only been here a short period of time, obviously, but from what I remember, our colony has only been here for like 50 or so years. This looks older than that, and I don't recall ever hearing of anything being built. Uh, well, uh, you know uh, that the robot, the robots came somewhere. Can uh, I? They, weren't, they were here before. What's up? Oh, wait. What's up, Leah? Oh no, I was just gonna say, can I use um my like word on the street to see if I can remember anything back when I would just kind of roam around town? Uh no, nobody back nobody in uh, Evergreen to. would have had any idea about this being here. Okay. This was only recently found with the uh, the scouting party. You might have heard like some rumors about like what people assume was down here. But the scouting party only really saw the entrance and then went back to make sure that they could give a report. Okay. So how many tunnels are we looking at? Possible. Before going into that, oh, okay. uh, somebody give me a d20. Certainly. Actually, you know what? All, all of you guys give me a d20. 14. Just flat. Six. E? No. Nah. Where's okay. the nineteen? Got a nineteen. Oh, shit. Why good am shit. I the only one rolling the guy single with the digits? Eyeballs. <laughs> B Ram. You said B R B. B Ram. Oh dang. Yeah, he uh, put B R B in the dungeon chat. Yeah. Oh. B Ram. Bram. But yeah. Bram. All right. Well, this this is gonna get real spicy. So I want him oh. to I want him to be here. Right. So how are you guys doing? How's life? Like, uh, we're doing pretty good, I think. Yeah, you know I, I just well. opened up to the boss. I mean, I know it's incredible. Truly a change of pace. Don't Every, get used to it. I wasn't planning on it. I'm excited. 
We I just learned relax. that some sort of AI thing has probably implanted itself into the brain of Hyde, which is fucking hilarious. It's probably, like, worked its way into, like, being part of my genetic code at this point. Uh, Ryan, at this point, do you want a little bit more of that code decoded? Sure, I would love to. Do I need to roll, mm -hmm. or...? Uh, no, because I'll just... I'm having Devin years work on it in the background passively. Mm. Uh, so where does that pick up? There, that's where that picked up. Okay, cool. Not too much, just a little bit. Uh, boop, boop. Yeah, that should be it. Cool. I think format got a little fucky, but yeah, it's fine. Oh, uh, oh, joy. <laughs> Who, uh, because we're in a group, uh, Graves would uh, he has time with Hyde, but you know, mm -hmm. not worry the rest. Yeah, I it's probably just like on one of the screens in your mech, the many just fucking like wall of monitor. Demir's probably just has like one on the bottom left corner where he's actively like decoding and updating it. Yep. Interesting. You kind of just glance over and just... <laughs> oh. You're like, well, there it is. It'll work. Oop, there it is. Oop, gibbity boom. Oh, wait, now B-Ram? Yeah. Yeah, we are. That goddamn piece of shit bastard. Uh, I hate him so much. Thank God... We're not on the live stream right now, so he'll never know my true feelings. Wow. <laughs> oh, fuck, he's That's here. That's crazy. <laughs> Dang. That was timing, wasn't it? Huh? Oh, oh, hey, no, uh, hey Rito. Rito, can you give me a d20? Oh, no. Everyone nope. did it, don't worry. It wasn't just you. Yeah, but I know I'll roll a one. You, oh, uh, you three. three isn't a you one. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. So, Graves... You're the only one who rolled worse than me. Carson and Okane, uh, all of you guys, as you're kind of like entering this area and kind of just like in like the marvel of it, like this just extremely old but human architecture. Um, uh, I'd say especially Okane with your your spotting skills, you notice that the uh the ground is littered, kind of. Often, like, the corners now, like, it got pushed over somewhat, but just what appears to be large shells of creatures that have just been wasted away with time. But from what you can tell, like, on the parts of, like, the, the creature that doesn't really decay away, like, the, the hard shite in the shells, uh, it appears to be burn and scorch marks that have punched through the shells itself. Um... Uh, Similarly, off, uh, kind of pushed away to the side, you do see what appears to be old human remains as well. Uh, people in their like hard suits and uh, cuirasses, with their kind of like auxiliaries, kind of set next to them, knives that have just been rusted out and whatnot. Uh, but specifically, the three of you, kind of simultaneously, uh, all kind of like perk your head around and notice in the far back left corner uh, a number of people Ooh, lying on the ground with IV bags hung on racks next to them. What the fuck? With IVs being oh fed God. in as they like kind of subtly move around as a wounded person does. And as you guys notice that, a group of people emerge from one of the branching off tunnels uh, unarmed although the one in the front does wear a pistol on her waist as they all kind of enter in and the one with the pistol on her waist specifically looks to you graves and greets you as are this is no no, no, you guys are okay. you're in your mechs. Okay, just making sure. I do stand out. And, yeah, and greets you as this is the Thal Ordo, the person that called you on your phone. Hmm. Late night when you need my love. <laughs> he loved you a long time. Jesus. And you just don't call me last night. 
<laughs> so, finally made in person. Wasn't expecting to, but, uh... That a good that thing? We, we, we indeed do. Welcome. Oh, fuck. We are, uh... She has kind of looks over as at the uh, the wounded people on the ground. What's left of the uh, the advanced party? While they're talking, I'm gonna use my scanners to scan as far back as I can into the cave to see if there what's back there besides people. See if there are like people in mechs maybe around. Uh, your scanners do not pick up anything okay. other than. What's in this room currently? Okay, just. What's your reach on your sensors? O only ten. Oh fuck it, I'm gonna do it then. What's your reach? Twenty. Oh yeah, you've got more than me. I've got fifty. Yeah, just to just to see. Oh, uh, what do you want me to roll for that, bud? The sensor is it just one? Huh? Yeah. It just, oh, it just does it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. There's anything Still with nothing the than what you're picking up in this room. Okay. Okay. I was just certainly I was just checking. Hell, that something came through and. Uh, Decimated you. Here. Let me guess. The uh, robot horde that uh, crawled out. Uh, what? How long has it been since they crawled out? Like a month. month? Yeah, about a month. Horde that yes, came this, out a month ago. This machine army. I. I did give you a brief warning of it before, but it appears that it uh, wasn't able to help. Well, we've we've been fighting with them underground for some time now, but you guys proved an apparent distraction for the Force, and they've mostly left us alone to deal with you on the surface. Yeah, they've certainly done their job decimating all of the outlier towns. Yes. Oh, ask her how long she's been here. Well. Comes over comms. Over comms. <laughs> I'm assuming you've been here for some time if you've been skirmishing with them even before they uh, send it above ground. Yes, we're the uh, the last of the uh, advance party of our group. We uh, were told to pull back, be needed at home, but we lost contact quite recently. Hmm. We've see. mainly done the best we can with what little supplies but she motions over once more as you can see we are running out of supplies and able bodies Carson raises his hand I'll be his right back, giant guys. mech hand <laughs> like, can I ask a question ma'am yes what's up why uh just being curious why uh why were you attacking us for all those uh all those months what did we ever do we were under the incorrect assumption that you were working with the machine force we mainly saw all of the uh the autonomous units set up outside your colony and incorrectly assumed who our enemy was. I could understand you... the We've but We've I... been fighting for some time now and we have been a little on edge. He raises his hand again. Hmm? Wait, can I ask another question, ma'am? Yeah, this isn't school. You, If nobody's talking, you can ask. I, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just I'm I'm trying to be respectful here. I don't want to like butt in and and anything. So you know I'm I'm, yes. I'm trying to be recognized before I speak to my elders. The respect is appreciated. Um, feel like, feel free. Um, before like how long have you been fighting these this machine army? Like was it before our colony was even um put up? You know, way before I was even born. Established, good word. I like you, B-Ram. Thank you. I say it over comms. <laughs> we've, we've been fighting for quite some time now. Long long before me. Oh, wow. Long before. So this is nothing new. Holy cow. 
That's crazy. The misunderstanding definitely makes sense. Give me one second while I scroll back to something that has a lot more details in case you guys want to keep asking questions. I don't really have more questions to ask other than... Well, Where are we going to kill things? You have a way to deal with I look them. Scythe. He's if, getting his itch. If our conflict is yeah. born of misunderstanding, then I, yeah, even if it isn't, uh, this yeah, horde is the bigger threat <laughs> regardless. I see oh, no, no reason why we witch. shouldn't cooperate with them. Well, what what do they know about this machine horde? Because it's it's new to us. Like, where did they come from? That's a good point. How long have, you know, how long have they been here? You know, why are they doing what they're doing? Is there like some central control that's controlling them for some reason? You know, was it before the planet was even you know even colonized by people in general? I mean, we don't know anything about this. this is new. So I'm just I'm just being curious, sir. I, are you aware yeah. of the civilization on the other? continent we assumed as such but we've never had any clear evidence we, we assume that there are people all over the planet still as we've remained for so long ah so you have been so you a you are remnants, I would, I guess I could say, of the other civilization on this continent. That's, if that's a fair way to put yes, my, it. My people have been here since Union left centuries ago. And you've been fighting these things that entire time? It didn't start out with such ferocity but over over the years they've grown in number and grown more ambitious you know have, have they been here as long as you can remember because there seems to be a whole lot of them like was this planet inhabited maybe by sentient robots at some point well, i mean what information do you guys have since it's you've obviously probably been here a lot longer remnants of you Sir, my own assumption. I doubt the sentient world came out of it. Most of the robots that you see here were left by Union. Um, as to why they've grown hostile, it's Anybody still up in the air. Understood. Not not clear to us. Just, just being curious. Well, this is it. So, there was some sort of controlling force behind that controlling force, whether it be an NHP or some other form of central intelligence went haywire. Uh, there is a possibility that just over time and through age, begun to malfunction. You know, NHPs at least need to be cycled every so often to ensure that they don't manually and cascade. Makes sense. And if Union just up and left an NHP sort of centralizing intelligence that was managing all of the robots overarching intelligence without consistent cycling management and repair it be bound to happen that time they slowly corrupt is there no way to like use the orbiting satellites to shut them down somehow send some kind of jamming signal into them that they're i mean they're simply mindless robots right anything powerful enough to manage this large amount of... I doubt we'd be able to sever their connection. Maybe with time and more than just a single orbiting satellite, we'd need a lot more resources than that. And without outside communication, uh, and with how long outside communication would take to get 
him, them to send anything to us to resolve the issue. I have a few. Gotcha. Thought I had something. The probably best way to deal with the threat overall is there is some thing leading and organizing these things would be to deal with that. Hopefully that would eliminating whatever's controlling them would allow it to at least permanently stop the force. At this uh, point, uh, Thal is going to immediately like jump in on that and very in fact just, yes, that is that is what I I believe as as well. Hmm. Would would you be willing to come with me? Uh, your presence, it might be able to convince my uh my superiors that we can we can work together towards this. Would you be willing to do that? Gladly. As far as I'm concerned, even if even if the even in the case of we overall still being in which I don't believe, based on this was a misunderstanding. Uh, As you are greater... explaining that to her, uh, you get a priority one call from patients that comes over your uh, your system. Hold on. Man. Yes. Yeah, one second, one second. Uh, this is to all of you guys, not just you, Ryan, but to all of the group members. Uh, patients comes online uh, and tells you, he, we we need you back to Evergreen immediately. Um, Machine Army, they're 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 encircling. They're they're threatening to cut us off. Um, you need to come back as soon as possible. Uh oh. This this is urgent. Whatever investigation you're doing, cease it and come back. I think we're going to have to come back. We just, uh... Question. Uh oh Do your superiors have any idea where the Central Intelligence Committee is? We have assumptions. They, um... They appear to be coming from the north. Do you have a way, uh... To communicate with us, I mean, do you have a comm signal we can use to talk back and uh, forth with you? I I, I do have the the communications network back home, but we've lost contact with that, and I fear that there might have been a machine attack on the city that has wiped it out. The communications, that is. Is there something that we have out of character? Is there something we have we could give her to be able to contact you, like talk with? Graves whenever she needs to, you know, like she uh, already has my number. Contacted me over five yeah. months. Oh, that's uh, yeah. You okay. you guys Never do mind. have Here's like the standard kind of like communication, like radio chat or whatever. But yeah. with the machine horde, it appears that they have a way of like yeah. jamming all yeah. of the uh, the broadcast signals in okay. specific areas that they're attacking. Here's a question: How long did it take for us to get? From town to from this town. point, yes, uh, to the hours are we hours, days, a day? Oh, like Each probably two, two and a half hours of a trek. Okay, how, how long would a meeting take? Do you think? Are they like close? Are they like like around the corner? <laughs> or is it well, my main concern point? is let's say that we go back to uh. Even if we managed to repel the initial attack, it, we would basically be stuck there because they could just regroup and continuously assault. They have way more forces than. Uh, so on the map that I have, uh, where you guys currently are is uh, can about you bring up this. The map? So, tiny little. Oh, you can Oop. zoom. Oh, Thanks, I mean, man. if you just all right, zoom so three. on on this yeah. map. Uh, where you guys currently are is about right here. Oh, okay. So you're about the same distance away as Tower 3 from Evergreen. Okay. 
Yeah, but we got a ride back on those land haulers from Tower Three when we were, or we got picked up, didn't we? No, yeah, no, we you guys, got... you guys trekked all the way back because you were avoiding oh. machine horde and then oh, on the right. road. That's right. And yeah, you got you got a uh, trek or uh, trek back from the hauler when you went down the river to oh. uh, the reactor right. plant. Oh, that's right. Well, what say can we can we do this meeting and then get back to town right away, or do we just? I for returning to town, we need to be. We're already going to be hours. We're already two and a half hours out. So from the urgency in Patience's voice. Um, it appears down. like you have to make a decision here. Yes, we either have to go down and do the meeting, go to town, or well, we know that town is an immediate threat. The meeting is just a meeting at the moment. So, those are just my two cents, sir. Yeah, I'm thinking out of character. Graves would probably have come up with his decision. Uh, well, above board, what do you guys think? Because... Uh, I was going to say, uh, please take take your time to discuss amongst yourselves, but I, I would greatly appreciate your presence. And then kind of steps back and goes to tend to the wounded. Well, we have an immediate threat that we know of right now. My main concern about the immediate threat is that, let's say we go to Evergreen and manage to repel. That's if right. we manage to repel the attack. We didn't get the right. defenses all the way up, so we're not going. The town's not incredibly well defended, other than, uh, even if we manage to repel the attack. What's fr stopping the robots from taking a few days and just doing another attack? We'll never be able to take an offense against them. That We might never be able to have enough time to take an offense against them again. Without yeah, putting the we, town at risk. But if we don't go defend the town, there will be no overrun. There will be no town to defend anymore. You know, I mean, those, the, 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 what you call it, white people. Can we talk these yeah. guys into going and defending the town? I don't think that's good. They don't, the, if, her superiors don't trust us to begin with. The entire reason for the meeting was so we could earn that trust, essentially. They wouldn't probably trust us enough to send assets with us to go defend a town that they were actively fighting. Against. If they, if, unless we can convince we can give them, them that, to, I don't know. And if we can convince them that we're not the enemy, like she, this lady seems to realize that if we can convince. The, yeah, but again, up, I don't think there's any, there's, I don't think the problem is we need to decide right now. We don't have enough time for a meeting. We either got to go attend the meeting and doom the town or go save the town right now and doom our relationship with you guys. Well, with the original. The well, we there. could. But my mom, my mom and dad are there. I'm not sure this kid has parents. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm still not convinced you actually have parents. I'm it's pretty convinced you're an orphan. Uh, <laughs> oh fuck! Oh yeah, you missed that last time. It was like a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a whole thing. Uh, I had a conversation with uh with Carson about it. I was like, kid, I don't think you've got parents. <laughs> he was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I do. And I'm like, we can't bitch, do, where? We can't where? Where are they? Just Joey yelling around. Okay, Joey. let me put it to you this way. This is, if we go Please, the town, we, we have what is essentially a planet, a planet sized threat. This is a large army that the five of us are probably not well equipped enough to deal. The army is not a battle of attrition that we can win. Yeah, but without Evergreen, how do we get supplies? These people can't give us any supplies, you mm, know. It's got I us mean, there. They have, we have the orbital station that simply is connected to Evergreen, and if we lose that, where are we? I mean, it's not like we can call up there and say, hey, town's been destroyed, we're over here now, can you send our stuff down to where we're at instead? I'm just saying. Mm. Whoops. 
And neither of these <laughs> options are necessary. Whoops! <laughs> yeah. Because again, my browser just I mean, <laughs> defending Evergreen I is see. the defending Evergreen is the obvious choice. But I don't think it like it might be better in the short term, but worse in the long term. This is your call, sir. Well, Keep I want mind, the group's opinion. If you guys if you guys need like any amplifying information to help make this decision, you can talk to either Jethal, who's right there, or just ring up patience and be like, hey, what's going on, man? You guys yeah. have the ability to communicate. Burning right? green banana yeah. phone. phones. phones yeah. that have bi-directional communication. My god. Yeah. We Whoa. Don't. We're not I'm playing D&D? Sure. No. We don't have hey sighting stones. Hey, guys. What? Cookie of fortune. Nice. Uh, nice. What was your fortune? You ate the paper. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you like fuck yourself. The paper's right here, bitch. <laughs> it's, it's giving him lottery numbers. Play these numbers, and you still won't win. Brief aside, did I ever tell you guys about how I custom ordered sad fortune cookies? Yes, what? I no. think you did at some point. Sad fortune. Fucking Hold hilarious. On. What? Uh, I ordered honestly. twenty-five. Sad fortune cookies, so five sets of five different fortunes. Uh, and I personally customized them online, so there was fortunes like, um, <clears throat> fuck was was a really good one. Um, okay, something you love will be gone soon. Here's a wow. Uh, for my own, uh, for my own sake, and helping me make this decision. Uh, regardless mm. of uh, what answer you give me, uh, I'm still gonna one ask for the entire group above board decision, and two, I probably I need to take a bathroom break, and I probably gotta have a few minutes to contemplate this. Regardless, okay. uh, <laughs> but, you guys want to take a take a five? Uh, yeah. yeah, but yeah. answer this question for me. first of yeah. all. The job we were sent here on, who was our contractor, and what was the exact descriptor of the job? So the exact descriptor was the local union representative of this space of galaxy uh, who has received a distress call from the colony of Evergreen owned by Landmark Colonial. Uh, and you were exactly contracted for one year to come assist Evergreen with uh, whatever situations they had going on on the planet. Uh, okay, so no mainly wording. the distress call was due to the raids uh, on the colony itself uh, but also just like kind of general just like hey like if if you want us we're here kind of work general protections yep hoping that there, there would be some wording where I could like say we're here to defend the thing the area overall not specifically the town yeah but. You were just hired to help out the town of Evergreen. Nothing super specific that. or explicit. We either can listen to what he asked us to do, or we can do it in a way we think would be better. Uh, it does tell me this, so I will tell you guys that literally it writes, it should be clear to the group that neither choice will be considered in subordination. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. That is that is extremely important because yes. uh, and i just want to make graves opinion clear on this. graves thinks that if we go help the town we're essentially going to be stuck there fighting a battle of attrition we stand no chance of winning by my mom do we know uh, if there's a way like to shut down whatever is controlling it that was that my going? point with the rebels is the yeah. rebels might have information on where the main Roller and we're is. making a really big uh, hope and pray. We're making a big hope and pray that we can get there and shut it down. And, and we do know Evergreen that. has some mechs, right? Other than us? Oh, they, got like the white guys there. they have, like, scouting mechs and stuff. We've went on scouting okay. missions with the local. We're not the only mech. You okay. also do have contingency response team white right there that has no, their yeah. full team of mechs as well. Exactly. Oh, yeah, they did just get back, yep. So mm -hmm. they are there, true. Yeah, so the town's not completely helpless. 
our help would probably be... And if we can convince the Rebels to send a couple there during the meeting, that would help a lot. I think BRM's going to go with a... We attack... It, we take the risk and hope that there's a way to shut this down if we attack with those guys. And worst case scenario, if we get questioned, just say we ran into hostile forces on our way and... And hope and pray they don't figure out that we were talking to these guys. Well, Same. Graves buys enough of... Graves finds it reasonable enough that it's prob... They're probably telling the truth by saying that we thought you guys were the one attacking us, so we were doing retaliatory. Because it doesn't make that any sense for them to just be attacking the colony for no reason. Mm -hmm. So... And this is a more, even if we're enemies, enemies of my enemy friend. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Graves is under the opinion that we should take the risk. Evergreen should be fine for a few days as we try to figure out a permanent solution. We don't want to be stuck in town fighting a battle we can't win. B-Ram just knows that he was terrified when he saw all those mechs coming out, and if there's a way to turn them off at one spot and there's a risk or a chance that it could happen. Hell yeah, I'm going for that. That's a lot. And I've noticed what, like, six of those mechs can do to me sometimes. <laughs> it can get real rough. Also, it's Graves has... hate down on, on B-Ram. Also, <laughs> Graves has I noticed... I have a little bit of trauma. <laughs> Graves has noticed that the moment we left town with a person who is very likely me unconsciously giving information to the enemy, uh, that... Suddenly, that the town gets attacked the moment we leave. That's kind of weird. Oh, dang. We're going to have to turn into pirates. Uh, Because Hyde, is, as far as I'm concerned with text and information we've been getting, Hyde is basically... Whatever is in Hyde's head is giving information. To me. So they knew we left the town, so they knew it was time to... I probably shouldn't be in that meeting. Yeah, this book really set 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 you up pretty good, huh, Zach? Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's so cool. I'll I'll have you guys know, all of the stuff with Aaliyah has not been in the book. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Nope. That's clean. Ab that. Absolutely none of it, besides like the initial symptoms. That's it. And now you know we're just what? making it work in with the story. That's clean. Yeah. The, yeah. I'm proud of you, buddy. Yeah, that's that really good. You. Uh, Thank you. Regardless, what I think we should do is let's take like a five minute bathroom break. And then I want, uh, let's have everybody come back with their position and we'll decide what to do based on majority. All right. We have five that people. That sounds like a leader to me. I'm gonna that, ten, Graves would say that. Parents. I understand, Carson, that you have. Emotional ties to the town. You have. I a really thing. wanted to come back and help you. And save You're your slim. Life. I wrote you, but you still ain't but, calling. But my yeah. new, but my new <laughs> boss won't let me. So well, not that I won't let you. Oh, and if you would like to return and assist the town, I will not stop you. I never liked you that much, anyways. I was always <laughs> there your <is>. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that is a thing, and Graves will make that clear. If we take this meeting, I'm not going to stop you if you want to go back to town and you are home from. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must have not got them. There probably was a problem with the post office or something. Sometimes I scribble addresses to sloppy when I jot them. But anyways, fuck it. What's up, man? How's your daughter? My girlfriend's pregnant too. I'm about to be a father. What? If I have a daughter, guess what I'm going to call her? I don't know what I'm going I write about your Uncle Ronnie, too. I'm sorry. I, think, uh, I had a friend who uh, didn't want him. You're lucky uh, this is a YouTube or else day, copyright would have probably fan. been uh, <laughs> striking <laughs> in by now. It wasn't 30 seconds. You can, do, you can, fair use, do your own cover of a song. Absolutely. That's fair. Yeah. Was I right who that was a cover of, though? Yeah, it was Stand by Eminem. Yeah, okay. It sounded like the beef between him and MGK. All right. Well, He's gone as I said, I am going to put up the BRB. I'm going to mute us all, and we will uh, take a quick five-minute bathroom break to make a de very important decision here. Uh, everybody, uh, hopefully, we'll have an opinion by the time we get back.
Never mind. Never yeah, mind. I, I think I have my opinion set. Graves, I missed that entire discussion. So. I mean, Graves might be able to talk me out of it. Yeah. Uh, Graves has made his opinion clear, but yeah. he would take the input of the rest. I'm yeah, kind of I'm, with five Graves minutes. With Let's meet back. 936. Yeah. yeah. Mute.
Well, and we're back. I've had some time to think mm-hmm. about it. <laughs> After know, much I... deliberation and consideration, you guys I've decided under my family now. Oh my god. It's so... <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> Kid, did, did you ever, did you ever have parents? I, I just need to know now. I will. I will go with however you guys want, and let fate decide. Because like the move. I love you guys. Okay, this is weird. And I'm here for you. And it's like having three dads and a mom. Graves is really <laughs> passing down that generational trauma, isn't he? It's like having parents for the first time. Bro, life. Um, I, Graves, I think we got more in common than we think. <laughs> I like how this is just a, a team of just full grown adults. Two of them are backgrounds in like covert operations. One of them is a farmer. One of them is this like highly studied like technical specialist. And now they just have a child soldier kid. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be literally the oh, greatest man. soldier in history. Yeah, he is because he's getting trained by us. He's gonna get a little bit from all of us. Like, if, if we ever make a fresh campaign, make it like ten years, twenty years after this campaign, and he's just like a hardened veteran that yeah, had to go underground. Hilarious. We could have fucking Carson as like, a new character in, that, in a shit. different campaign. Just, like, and Rock Snake over here. Have any of you guys seen the movie Sisu? Uh, I've I've heard of it. Heard That's of like it. the the one with the the fucking like the Finnish. Yeah, finished like war vet. Retired, yeah. yeah so, who's a like, gold miner now? Yeah, Carson's mm-hmm. gonna turn into that guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see that. It was made by the people that did uh, John Wick, right? I believe so. It was. Yeah. It was good. It was very hokey too, but it was good. <laughs> you know, so I mean, this dude was a mega chat. So yeah, I, I yeah, and yeah. thank you for letting us know about the whole insubordination thing because Graves that would have probably followed orders if it if it would have been counted as insubordination. To... And the only way that uh, Biram would have switched from the our, my his current decision is if little guy had a different decision that he just than what he just made. So I'm like, fuck. So hmm. let's take our vote. Uh, I vote for working with the rebels. Agreed. Two votes I didn't want to be here in the first place. I'm also a security risk, so I don't have a vote. Okay. Uh, a security risk. <laughs> You're going to end up being the Wait. tiber. You might Bro, end up where being have the tiber. You been this whole time? <laughs> I like, have been well, here. Currently but talking only you character. and the cap know about you. I, I'm like, yeah, unless you, as Hyde, say that you're a security risk. I am what asking would Hyde say you as a her opinion? Risk. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're. Oh. No, I was just thinking out loud as like. Me the person, not me the player. Well, what's uh, Hyde think? Yeah, you're good. That you just casually yeah. leaked the fact that you have a an issue there. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I think it's not a, not a secret. I have an issue, guys. Come on. <laughs> well, we know you have an issue, but we don't know what it's caused by. Anyways, what's your opinion? Uh, I didn't want to be here on this fucking planet in the first place, so I'm down for whatever will get me off it the fastest. Other person I that usually that. don't have an opinion. I was like, well, again, you oh. guys are my new family. He doesn't have parents. My new mom and dad and two big Whoa. brothers have decided Whoa. that we're going to do this Clearly, thing here. We're a dog D-Ram is the mom. dad and Graves is the mom. Um, yeah. oh, see, I was yeah. thinking B-Ram was the mom. because we're Actually, no, that makes some more sense. I'm the dad, B-Ram's the mom, all right? No. What kind of mom constantly loses their pants? Yeah. Exactly. That's a dad uh, move. The uh, drunk that, ones that right. uh, get hey, wine hey, wasted. Hey, hide, every day. hide. Yeah, what do you call him? Mom. Ship Daddy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were gonna bring that full circle. I was waiting for it. Oh, oh god, yeah. the Ship Daddy came back. <laughs> All right. So, glad that so caught on. your opinion, Carson, is whatever we go with. Yeah, sir. No, I'm I'm cool with whatever you guys want to do. I I trust that my folks. And take care of themselves. They're they're not invalids, and uh, well, we still haven't thing. gotten a majority, because uh, technically that's not an opinion until like we get an actual majority or something. Is that a vote to <laughs> yep, staying here vote. because you don't want to walk? And yep. Scythe, what's your opinion? We've already hit the majority. He doesn't have one. I don't think he gives a fuck. He well, said he did. He said he had an opinion, which is why I want to oh. hear it. Oh wow! Yep. Unfortunately, despite as 
cool of guns we do have. Um, after seeing what we saw, I think that we don't have enough to defend the town, even if we wanted to. And I don't know why they haven't just come and taken the town over anyway, because there's no way in hell we could stop them in a fight. So yeah. oh, you, you, mean, you mean all of this? <laughs> yeah, all, so, yeah, the map with all of the eyeballs, with all of the glowing eyes, oh, the fucking yeah. pit of we death. Just nuked it. There so, hell yeah. I'm, uh, I'm game to go and do this meeting. <laughs> Yeah, I then that, that's my opinion. Like we might be able to hold them off for a day or two, but in the end, they ju they could just continue to assault the town, and eventually we'd run out of reason. Honestly, sir, I think it makes more sense to get uh, information from people who have obviously been fighting these things for a period of time that we didn't even know about them, and I think in the long run we'll be able to help us in the end. I agree. I think it's. It Those gives us one step closer to dealing with the problem as a whole. Going back to town and defending it for the next three weeks as we slowly whittle down our supplies is not moving us towards victory. It's just Sometimes wasting time and it be me. wasting resources. True. All right, let's do All this right. thing. I'll go, I'll uh, march over to uh, What's Her Face. We're going to name it. It's all Ordo. The thal, and I'll say, we'll take the meeting. There's, there's the name for you. Uh, she kind of glances up and goes, "Oh, oh, fantastic, great. Um, if you give us a a moment, we can collect the uh, the wounded, and we'll we'll head on our way. Hmm. The a bit of a trek, um, but <laughs> so well, much for was... not walking." Well, it was either walking two and a half hours or walking underground for maybe a half an hour. It's fine. It's still less walking overall, probably. Besides, in war there are casualties. A lot of people are going to die regardless. We might just the only thing going to town might do is save a couple more. Some of you may die, but that is a chance I am willing to take. We're mercenaries. All that we care about is getting paid. As far That's as I'm true. concerned. Oh, you're 100% right. We have a job, and regardless, we're pushing to complete the job either way. And besides, hey. the people who originally hired us don't seem to have that big of a stake on this planet anymore anyway, so we'll be lucky if we get paid at the end of this regardless. Yeah, it'd be, uh, we gotta live first, so. Um, well, I don't think that's a concern. Just wondering if yes. for some reason... You know, obviously, we're going to have to repair these things eventually. Um, do these people have the resources and the ability to print out the That's new stuff we're going to need? That's a good point. Are you, like, asking that to her or just, like, amongst yourselves in the group? Uh, I'm, I'm simply asking the group in general because it just mm -hmm. popped into my head because I'm like, you know. I've already seen DRAM blow up in a mech and need a whole new mech printed, so... If that would ever happen again, are we SOL or do we have the facilities to be able to do it? Well, they yeah. had their own mechs when it came to fighting. Uh, yeah, but they when it came garbage. to the rebel forces, so hopefully they have they something. Do do. Are we going to be able to earn more licenses through them, or at least through the union, we were able to, you know, get our company. Get the uh, manufacturing companies are fickle. They'll give it to whoever they think will make it. Who will use it? The Believe me, you could be working on some back desert planet, and that literally nobody could know you exist, and the corporations would still probably find a way to get you licenses if they found you work. Why don't you ask her? Was that mech that, like, nuclear explosioned itself, one of the rebel mechs? Uh, yes! <laughs> The meltdown one? Yeah, the I'm pretty sure that was a rebel yeah. attack again that we fought off. And that Real. thing did not look like that. No, that was mech. not a base mech. They, I actually have the license for the mech. That's a uh Real. That's an Real. Enkidu mech. That's an Enkidu. actual really good frame. Mm-hmm. Okay. A very so they're, old they're obviously mech. equipped somehow. Oh, it's very old. It's an old license, but it's still a license. Bless you. Thank you. So Bless you. They probably have the utility and supplies to. 
I'm saying that out. Uh, I'm saying uh, that mainly above board. I'm saying that because I very highly doubt that the book would just leave a shit out of luck if for repairs if we pick this route. I uh, I don't think the book would do that balance wise. Outside of the story, yeah, you guys still get access to a full repair or whatnot. <laughs> Heyo. Just checking. And as I said, okay. licenses. You could literally be fucking six planetary systems away and if the fucking if you're good enough and the corpos even get wind of you they'll probably send you don't worry about life I'm, I'm just asking the question to make sure i don't be hung out in the wind no it wouldn't make any I, sense from a bell over like that all right oh well, let's go all right We're doing uh it. She helps kind of uh, gather the uh, the wounded soldiers and gets them into shape where they can start getting going. Uh, you do see that they obviously have very limited medical supplies anymore. And she leads you down the uh, old tunnels. Uh, as you guys are walking and making the trek, she does kind of base introductions and uh, kind of tells you a little bit about herself as well as the situation of her people. Uh, so she explains that they're not pirates or anything, that uh, Hercinia is their home. Uh, they refer to themselves as Hercinians. Uh, the language that she like speaks to you with is indeed Union Common, but it appears to have like a slight accent. She explains that she listened to uh, comms transmissions to pick up most of like the the new kind of dialect and lingo, but it still it sounds very rural and old. Like if someone was like talking with you for like, like old speak. Yeah, if we were talking to somebody from like revolutionary America. Yes, yes. There's like a distinct gap in like mannerisms and phrasing, but still recognizable. Uh, going further, she explains that all of the other. Uh, Persinians live underground uh, in remnants of the, the homes of the Earth people, as she calls them, uh, and finds kind of it hard to properly explain who the first people were, but does refer to them as Egregorians. Uh, at this point, are there any questions that you guys have burning on your minds as you're making the trek? Would I have learned anything about the Egregorians in school? You, being on the colony, you've heard the f like phrase and the name Egregorian thrown out, but you've mainly heard it like in reference to what the scholars of the colony believe the old people on this planet were during the time of a uh, sect committee. Um, then there's not a whole lot of information that was found and given out about it. Just that people used to live here called Egregorians. Okay. Now, oh, honestly, I feel a bad all of going on. If I knew that uh, you guys were the original inhabitants. Hmm. I that rebels we had been fighting against were here before the colony was. Yeah, they started it. Obviously yes, they it... Didn't set up a good communication line. With we have... We're wrongly assuming that all of your drones and whatnot were working with with the machine uh it took many difficult sessions and decisions but we eventually decided on military action and came to the situation we're at today well i've heard something uh 
who looks like people who originally. I hope you Union has a thing in fact where we're gonna get some sort of money for this, even if the original company doesn't pay out, right? Because if the original company doesn't have rights to the planet like they thought it, we did, right. and they fucking bail out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not hired by like Landmark yeah, Colonial or anything. Really... You're hired by the local <laughs> union representative, okay, so you've so... already been like promised. So we're getting paid regardless, as long as the mission, yeah, at least, even if the mission is failed, as long as the mission is semi, we make it out alive. What is it like? Fucking like she gets the card, or she gets the car, he gets the girl. What do I get? I'm getting paid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right but, but yeah we're all, all going right. to need to work together if you want to deal so she we, describes yeah. that um for the vast majority of the time uh that her Sinians have been here they've mainly been in their own separate kind of colonies uh not really interacting with each other but once uh, Landmark Colonial showed up, the Machine Horde became more aggravated uh, to the point that the colonies actually have started bonding together and trying to group up and kind of strengthen numbers themselves. Let's bring together. True. Well, it also gets people money. That is very true. true. We're getting paid for this, and that works out. Paid! I'm going to make an allowance. Oh, well, look at the bright side, kid. If Evergreen does fall, you'll always have a permanent home aboard uh, the uh, station. That's true. I could become like a space-faring... Space-faring mercenary would be your or, official uh, title. Mercenary. Can I be or engineer if you want to en help repair things. Ooh. I'm digging this course of action right now. <laughs> Graves had said, yeah, if you're home and your family gets murdered and killed, you know, it's fine. You can just join up with us permanently. <laughs> sure, you're like 14 to 16. I don't think you've ever mentioned your official age in-game, but, uh, I'm Bro, not a bum. I killed my first person around that age. That's fine. Funny thing, so did I. I killed a bunch. <laughs> Good job, kid. <laughs> you're learning. <laughs> Uh, I cry less each night afterwards. So I'm getting better at it. Exactly. The first one's the hardest. It gets easier from there. True. It's like when I used to burn those ants with the magnifying glass, you know, it bothered me at first. But you know, still. You know the the standard like childhood thing of burning ants with a magnifying glass, except for you, it was literally just like a laser cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That I built myself in my bedroom. <laughs> that would be Fucking that yep. Amazing. Oh my god. That's... You guys ever heard of Styro Pyro? No. He's this like fucking like chemistry like student that has just posted videos on YouTube of him like fucking around with like mainly like lasers and electronics. And it's just it's really funny because he's like super like kind of deadpan about everything. But then his videos are like my home built 200 watt laser bazooka. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Oh, man. Okay, like just real, real quick tangent, just posting that. <laughs> yeah, I'll watch it after we're done. <laughs> yeah, it's like Mark Rover and all the shit that he builds. Yeah, it's just, oh, it's so funny. Hmm. But, anyways, back to it. Uh, you guys walking down the tunnel. Walking down the tunnel. Uh, Making my way downtown. Walk it fast. Trust me, like, if you guys have any questions, I probably have an answer to it. <laughs> I have so much information readily available. Oh, so we can talk to this lady as... How <laughs> wide are said yeah. tunnels? Uh, they're... So, like, in terms of, like, modern perspective, they're probably wide enough for, like, two modern train cars across... So Big they're time. they're a decent like size of tunnel that has been uh, hollowed out. No, I, I'm stretches. liking this. I mean, I, if I'm imagining the or the hexagons the right size, 
I might, I might like this area. Yeah, I, I'd say it, it probably is about like four hexagons in length. So like, someone that's like a size two mech could then walk next to like a size one mech comfortably. Hell yeah, I like this. Are I there like still this. tracks on the on the ground, or are those gone? Uh, so I've been using the train analogy, but it's not oh. as though they actually had like trains here. It oh. appears to just be like just kind of flat surface in these okay. tunnels. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So like they probably drove trucks or cars. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they're like wide, kind of like oval, kind of like arches and tunnels, but then they're just like a flat ground, or at least as flat as like they could make it. And then over time, has then yeah eroded. And crumbled. bunched up and crumbled, yeah. I'll ask her, uh, have you ever um, retrieved one of these um, these mechs that you've been fighting and done any, like, analysis of them to see what makes them work at all? We haven't really looked into the the machines um we don't really have any capability to kind of figure out what they're 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 working with i suppose um i i noticed during one of your attacks a strange what appeared to be harrison armory frame that i had never seen before it had like laser whip claws at, uh... Ah, we we have a a few of those that we've salvaged. Um, we don't use them often. Um, yeah, the when, one we bought literally. Yeah, when <laughs> that that attack was I'm warning frowned you, upon by most. <laughs> Um, Last thing you need is a cancer trans- lady going down and fucking his booty hole. When, I'm fucking when what? people, hmm? was it? I'm sorry. I, I was more wanting to fucking Reno's comment. What the fuck? <laughs> sorry, my housemate is like, he's freaking out over CS2. He's psychoing. Oh my god. Okay. Honor. Honor. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Joe. Yeah, oh like god. Joe. Oh, like Joe. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> But uh, yeah, she she further explained that when people get into those uh, those frames, they do not plan on getting back out. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, no. He... <laughs> Whoever that pilot was it was a bitch. He couldn't touch me. Well, let's. Uh, we're talking about their full and co- uh, this is over private comms this time. This is, we're talking about their friends died here. Let's not, you know, antagonize them. No, we're not antagonizing. We're just letting them know that, you know, they sent their best. We beat their ass, sir. I mean, it's called intimidation, isn't it? Like, we're not, you know, we're looking no to make there. friends. I know. This kid's going to get us all fucking killed. Oh, my God. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay, I'll be quiet. Thank God. <laughs> Yeah, the the text I have about the regret frame was spicy. Spicy boy. <laughs> yeah. I really want to. Like, they even gave me the fucking name of the pilot. Well, yeah, because under scan, you can ask for pilot information on Mac, can't you? Yeah. Yep. So, do they just have information on every manned, like, named mech for every fight? Yeah. Maybe. Oh my god. That's <laughs> yeah, so much legitimate. extra detail. No, they, they don't go into a lot of detail with most people, like but, like, yeah, just baseline, like, situation, what's happening. No, that's a lot more detail than I'm used to. Like, in D&D or Pathfinder, you fight human enemies. Most of them are just Named by what kind of human enemy they are. Unless the DM goes into detail, you don't name every single guy. Yeah, for for me, literally for that one combat facing the Enkidu frame, 
just little little peek behind the curtain reading some of the text it gives me currently regret is piloted by person uh their decision to activate regret and was essentially a terror attack was not popular with the command they will not survive the encounter they were oh. right i see so uh, that, you know that was going to be another thing i asked is uh and i'd bring that up now speaking mm -hmm. of the regret frame that attack on <laughs> Evergreen, where you were burning civilian residences? Was that the, just a communication issue, or did... The, the civilian population was not the, the focus of the attack. We, we mainly wanted to go to the, um, um, the, the tower that you guys have. We assumed that it was aiding the machine force with communications but you know what that makes so much sense whatever is like driving these things if it's using obvious communications of some sort it would have to be high up wouldn't you think whether it be satellite or a mountaintop tower system mm. of some sort. That's fair uh, she doesn't know the like proper way to explain it, but you guys can infer that she's referring to the Omninode Tower, which uh, in Evergreen connects the colony to the rest of the oh, Omninode. Oh, okay, right. Well, well, oh, right, you're referring no. to the Omninode Tower. Um, I mean, yes, that yes, would have uh, been true if we were probably, probably, kind of. Yeah. Do you think Although, maybe that maybe it's possible that because they were pulling our fray they were pulling our uh, our units from in town, perhaps they've somehow interfered with our Omninet tower? Maybe there's a piggyback of some sort. Hmm. Where they're using our signal to run their mechs to tell them what to do when they're within town's range of some sort. Interesting. You know, something that may have to be looked at. Who knows how deep this whole thing goes? We have no idea what how powerful whatever thing is creating is controlling all these things are. Is I mean, if we're talking about a cascading NHP in a theoretical case, we could be talking about a, a possible highly sentient, highly powerful force. And didn't you say that Mr. Patience was having issues with his like implants itself? Yes, he was receiving interference, and if it's powerful enough to interfere with an NHP, we could be dealing with a really large threat here. I think we definitely made the correct choice. An active, being active here is going to benefit us more than being passive. I wonder if shutting, up, shutting down the tower in town would be helpful at some point. Problem is, if we did that, we'd cut off our community our outside galaxy surrounding we'd cut off contact to union we'd be basically on our own if we needed backup or supplies we'd be out of luck unless we can set up another one elsewhere if it could access if it could access a highly secured on the net tower in town it can secure a smaller one that we would just thinking sir no oh, all good theories any input is appreciated I shut up again. <laughs> and I think that's probably the extent of our conversation. I inquired right. about the attack on the town. I inquired about the frame that we fought. Yeah, it's a good amount of it. Uh. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but uh oh yeah. She I, also oh. I also see you sent me more decoded text. I did, yeah. I'm just gonna just kinda keep periodically doing that. You gonna um, send it via that hides way, uh, Ryan, or are you just uh, be we're like, not so, alone uh, yet. <laughs> D Dethal also kind of like gives like, like base introductions cat. as well to herself, uh that her father is uh Ilir Ordo, the commander of the Hive Home Rangers and current leader of the 
Hersinian United Colonies Coalition Army. Ooh, I see. That's a lot of words. It, it's kind of like a very like military, like very formal like title introduction that like kind of stands up like a little taller to say, and then immediately like goes back to like normal posture and then starts explaining things. Mm -hmm. Like like it's been like ingrained and trained to like say it in a very specific way. I see. Hmm. Very public relations. Yeah. Oh, very corpo speak very uh that style of understood oh yeah military talk oh yeah oh yeah it's so funny let me let me just tell you guys there's literally a document that uh i've had to look at which is called the doctrine for interior submarine communications Oh my god. Oh. And it's got oh all god. the lingo. Yes. <laughs> what is like an approved like acronym? Like what are the approved ways to like say things and how to write those things? My god. Like some things like if you're talking about it like for ease of communications, you can shorten it to like this phrase when referring to it, but like you can't say the full name or create your own acronyms about it, but then writing it down, you need to write it in this way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Which makes sense, but... It's just, it's really funny. <laughs> and, like, the whole, like, formal communications when, like, using, like, the telephone system on watch, it's super funny, too. Like, it's, like, to, like, first, like, Get the message out you have to say like the person you're contacting who you are and then asking them to get on the phones then they'll get on the phones and you'll like then repeat like person who i am what the message is you'll wait for them to respond with the message that you just said who they are and who you are i first confirm that you have the same message then they can then work on what their message is i see so what if they re repeat it wrong back to you do you have to uh then you message? shout at them uh incorrect blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's really funny too because generally the person that you're talking to is also a student so like they're getting used to the communications so if they're really really bad at it like i had one where like I was doing a procedure and like every time you have to like turn a valve in a step you have to like tell them hey like this valve position is this and like i kept saying like the valve and its position and they would like give me like the wrong valve number and i'll be like wrong <laughs> yeah yeah i can see that yeah. communication is not an easy thing for a lot of people yeah dude right. people had so tr much trouble with it in boot camp it yeah, was really I funny imagine. Anyway, let's continue. But yeah, you guys are continuing walking down the tunnel, and if you have nothing else, I will fast forward time as you guys make your way down. Yeah, I think anybody else would like to talk about? Nope. Uh, so it does take you about a day to go down these oh my tunnels. God. Part that of it is part of it is the distance but then also too they do have wounded soldiers that they're bringing along with them so like they've taken breaks to kind of rest and let them gather Has their strength back to contact us again at any point uh if he has underneath like these tunnels you haven't really gotten any signal well, that's even better for liability because if you can't read our position we can just say we un encountered unexpected interference and hostiles are yeah traveling under the earth or he just maybe like didn't try to contact you you really couldn't tell okay he'd be dead yeah graves would have made it clear to the team if we were asked uh we uncounter encountered unexpected comms and locational interference and we encountered hostile forces trying to intercept us <clears throat> our burn the town carson writes it all down also make sure to uh delete your Onboard video log. <laughs> Fucking wipe the body cams. <laughs> <laughs> wipe the body cams. 
All right, the <laughs> evidence is planted. Make sure your body cam is off. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Your Graves understands right. that he's probably going against if the CEO does not care. But otherwise, it is time for some ambiance. Hit me, baby. Ooh, beautiful. <laughs> After days of walking, you days? see. It. Well, sorry, that's just the, the ambiance text. I shortened it down to a day because I think it's a little bit ridiculous to have you guys walk for days. But yeah. after a day of walking, you see it. Light. Strange, this deep, but warm light spills out from the cave mouth. Sunlight? No, but something like it. Lamplight, Dethal whispers. Everyone whispers in the depths. Hive home. Here, let me lead. The thaw limps to the front, gently pushing you back. It is likely that the rangers at the mouth ahead have been sighted. I'd not want you to get a shot. Tithal leads her hands up. Rangers approaching, she calls out. No response. Hello? Rangers approaching, she calls again. She looks back, shakes her head. They should have called back, she says. Stay behind me. Let's move fast. Stay behind me. We're the ones that are back. You yeah, emerge right. from the mouth of the cave onto what Dethal later tells you is a mid-wall port, a natural shelf before a cave mouth, one of the many entrances into Hive Home's chamber. The scale of the vast space spread out before you defies your vision. An ocean disappears to either side of your vantage, filling the gently curving cavity, a space that could fit a thousand evergreens before yeah. disappearing into the yeah. dark void. Wow. My god, that's sick! Kilometers distant, light blooms from the water like a sun resting on the waves. I've home, making its own day. The city rises from the water, an incandescent plateau illuminating the ocean and the distant roof of the cavity, where flecks and massive veins of precious metals glimmer like distant stars. Smaller satellite islands surround it, linked to the main, mighty plateau by sparkling filaments of light. It is cold on the midwall port. A strong wind scrapes across it, brining a cutting chill, a scent of salt. You laugh. The galaxy and its worlds in it never fail to surprise. A shout draws your attention. Dethal striding across the midwall towards a collection of stone huts around a squat tower. Warm light burns from inside the shuttered buildings and behind the low structures. The tower rumbles with activity. A gondola anchor, you guess, as you watch carriages rumble in and out of it along a thick cable leading off the edge of the port. Dithal reaches the first outbuilding and yanks the door open, letting shouts of surprise and warning from the people inside. There's some big fucking mechs coming our way, what do we do? <laughs> easy, easy. Relax. Yeah. Weapon. Yeah, well, welcome to Hive Home, guys. It's literally a giant underwater, well, not underwater, but underground cavern with an ocean in it well since evergreen oh. is now officially fucked we have our new base of operation everybody yeah. of his resources oh just, we are not Carson, we've got our new like, home audibly like yes i must uh, admit i've never seen i kind of like, like it right this is fun. got a I charm to it. charm that evergreen didn't this is fun. Oh, what's the lights oh it's like artificial light you know, they have like lantern. Hmm. They have the gauntlet around and stuff like the that. Gauntlet? <laughs> the gauntlet? The gauntlet ruins? Oh my god. The gauntlet here? Oh no. <laughs> I'll just play Abomination Vaults and Lancer, all right? <laughs> so you guys kind of like stand back on the shelf, kind of like admiring the beauty of this underground civilization. Uh, just kind of like off to the side, you hear kind of just all chewing some people out for not paying attention and watching. You kind of just give them just a little bit of a beating. I was like, worried sure. for a minute that the of this place would be under attack, and that's why they didn't respond, but this is why. No, no, they're just fucking sitting playing cards or something. They're some just shit. lazy. Okay. Yeah. They're like, fuck it. We're slacking. The 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 Union didn't find the, in the indigenous people on the island. They sure as heck didn't find this place either. Holy cow, how do you they're, miss this? Well, they're all underground, and I doubt uh, even ground-penetrating radar probably doesn't go far. Good point, but holy cow. <laughs> it's something, it's isn't it? It's like a big clubhouse. This is great. Yeah. That's one way to look. 
Uh, as uh, Dethal makes her way back to you, uh, she kind of... Uh, not not necessarily sheepishly, but sheepishly is the word that's coming to my mind. He kind of uh, suggests that you guys leave your mechs here with the uh, the ranger barracks because bringing giant mechanized chassis into the middle of this city would probably create some uh, some attention. Yeah, especially since nobody knows about us. All right, yeah. all right, we can do that. Uh, I'll leave Tlaleq in charge of my mech while I'm gone, because I have two of them now. I bet you we have a rep, though. We've repelled every attack they sent at us and beat the hell out of them. So I bet you they do know about us to a point. Mm, to some, some extent, those, probably. Those are in the old mechs, though. These are our new mechs. We didn't have these then, so maybe not. That's true. We were still using the Everest frame. Yes, true, true. God, that a... town attack was license level one still. Yeah. I hope they have a candy store. I uh I wouldn't get your hope. You you you've been snacking on some swizzlers on this journey, you're kinda of running out. I am, I'm getting low. I'm oh getting no. Nervous. Oh god, what is he gonna do? Find a candy store. They have a, maybe they have a Wonka factory or something. But yeah, I'll Eject. I probably look even more out of place than I did in Evergreen. Oh, they just like full, just like fucking tailored suit. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. As as you get out of your back, like just falls kind of watching, it just kind of has like avert her eyes for a second, just ah. <laughs> yeah, my extremely <laughs> pale complexion, my stark white hair. Just. I get out of the back, you know, lock it up. Mm -hmm. uh, so she could at all look surprised that we have a little kid. <laughs> like, he, uh, honestly, kind of just like looks over, no expression. Uh, and then you guys kind of glance back over to the hut that she went to go lay some hate on some of the, the guards. And you see a couple of the guards like gearing up and coming back out to take watch. Uh, and as the book literally describes, a small contingent of rangers, too young and too old for the front lines, guard the gondola. Oh, so oh wow! They're 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 working with, with what they got. Damn, this big ass city, and they get wow. Okay, wow. Listen, man, you killed all of the able bodied. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. We decimated their forces. Yes, yeah. like twenty eight of them just that one battle alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Should we should we hand them terry cloth so they can like polish up our mechs for us? Uh how about no? Let's oh. again, kid, antagonizing people when we're trying to make friends. I'm just I'm just asking. This kid's gonna get pimp slapped one day and I'm not gonna I'm stop him. Uh D Dethal does like try to reassure you that like they they're familiar to some degree with frames and mechs and so they they will take good care of them they won't you know okay fuck them up i just got this thing it's like brand new to me dude it's brand new i haven't paid it off yet man i still got loan payments <laughs> you know it's still in its breaking phase all of the other mechs are probably dirty and dusty from the trek down the giant cavern yeah. <laughs> mine yeah. looks like it just got freshly painted right out of the shop yeah, well, yeah, we roll it's in with literally these five sparkling, mechs, we're all brand new. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Just walking down a tunnel for a day is probably dusty and cobwebs. It graves this whole personalization thing. It constantly repaints and cleans itself. <laughs> Things look, thing look like it got printed ten minutes. Ago. Extra. It is extra. But that's exactly what I play. Is extra. He's extra. Listen, if you're gonna play a fabulously rich ex corpo, you gotta look and play the part. <laughs> and then as you guys kind of uh leave your max with the uh the ranger barracks to be taken care of, you guys are escorted onto one of the gondolas that is uh making their round trip from the uh ranger station back to the main city. So you'll see that most of the travel 
that isn't on like foot bridges and whatnot is done using this gondola system. Um, think like, like you know, like the like closed like fucking like ski resort kind of like shuttles that go up and down the wires. That's that's what we're dealing with here. Is shuttles on cables. <laughs> Makes sense. <clears throat> Wow. Uh, as you guys get into the gondola too, you see that a couple of the, well, more than a couple, about like four of the uh, the rangers get into the uh, the shuttle with you, and kind of just like stand in front of the uh, the doorway uh, as you guys then filter in, and the door shut, and the gondola sets off. Did uh, they request to relieve ourselves of our offensive equipment? Like our nope. piloting firearms. Nope. No, you you guys have all of the uh, the equipment available to you on your person. They haven't been like give us your guns or anything. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, they they're also armed themselves just because you know if you're issued a gun and you don't take care of it. Yeah, bad, 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 bad boy. Take care of your stuff. Great. But yeah, the gondola then like travels right. over this this kind of dark know. ocean as you guys then make your way down into the uh, city proper. <clears throat> and the mid-wall gondola bounces to a slow crawl as it enters the well-lit lower anchor station, and a crowd of rangers hustle to grab the cart and stabilize it. They haul open the doors, and you are overwhelmed by the walloping smell of hot oils and street carts the shout and clamor of the crowd, and the bright light of the sun lamps. The cries of the civilian population, the soldiers holding the back, the rough commands of the ranger guards at the gondola door. The commotion is equal parts curiosity, hostility, cheering, confusion. The guards help you out, two to a person, their rifle slung, their hold commanding. Dethal is greeted by an officer who throws an arm across her shoulder and pulls her close. The two shout a conversation under the roar of the crowd, not hostile, but hurried. You're guided through the crowd, an elemental press of body, spit, sweat, and curses. The rangers shove you forward, and you can hear Dethal shouting behind everything is fine to hurry to the cars. You see something as you're helped roughly into a waiting van. At first, you're not sure what you've seen, and you profile quickly as one of the rangers you've encountered around Evergreen. This quick recognition holds for a heartbeat, then falls apart. The doors to the van slam shut, and the crowd's cries become a percussive tattoo on the van's side panels, doors traveling with you as it pushes slowly through the press. You did see it, though. It was taller than the humans around it, its carapace more of a deep emerald in the black of the ranger's armor, healthy and alive. Alive. An egregorian. Opalescent eyes blow a rigid crown. A beauty in the aquiline sculpt of its jade carapace broken by the unnerving realization that the body carries an inhuman mind. It wore a bolt of rich crimson cloth, cloth crossing its chest over one shoulder and down. A pair of fine golden chins around, chains around its neck. It was bent to the side, conferring with the human next to it. What a terrible and beautiful thing, an Egregorian, alive. And with that... I will send this image of what my poem looks like so you guys can get a better glance and view. Should we be nervous? Relax. <laughs> if they were going to kill us, they would have likely done so. And that this thing that you can probably assume is what an Egregorian looks like. Uh, where did you put oh, that? Uh, can you middle. send it through uh, Yeah, I'm a journal. Through Foundry? I am so Wait, glad we work. went this route. This is fucking awesome. Hi, home at page. The fucking Hive ventilation home. in this cavern system's got to be ass. There's some it's buildings. Absolute ass. That go all the way up to the ceiling. Holy. So, so these people were. Did we get the impression that they were trying to get onto the gondola to get out of where they're at? No, they, they were. To... I think they recognized us as people who have been the opposing force. I they think... recognized it as you guys being weird out-of-towners. 
Oh, so okay. they're just so it was curious. it was like you just like showed up in the middle of like a city center, yeah. and you guys are clearly not from here. Yeah. Well, they probably don't get a lot of visitors here. I'm guessing so. No, no, not at all. So this was a weird situation. Uh, yeah, you yeah. should all have the observer thing for Hive Home and Foundry, so you can pull it up, Ryan. All right. This is what we're looking at. Beautiful place. Honestly, and that right there is an Egregorian standing on the balcony. This place has got a Zion vibe. From yeah, the right. From the Matrix, yeah, true. Nice place. Interesting. And they're ruled by a bug. I don't think they're necessarily ruled by a bug. No. I mean, it's possible. Uh, we haven't met the ruler of the place, but uh, I think true. the Egregorians just live alongside these guys. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, we will definitely. Crazy. And then continue on. The door, van door slams shut. You pull away into a galaxy more vast than you thought. So the nice, pla you know. nice place you got here, Dithal. I wasn't expecting uh, a magnificent city this underground. We've tried our best to uh, make a, a place for ourselves. You're over Evergreen. Evergreen stale. <laughs> so corporate. Honestly, before we came here, like, who were the other people that live on this planet that you are... Are you allied with anybody? Are you at war with anybody? Or are well, you clearly. the only people that... Oh, clearly what? Well, they were already mentioned that uh, they were split into a bunch of colonies related together uh, to deal oh, with the robot okay. threat. And we know oh, that okay. they live friendly alongside the Egregorian. Mm. Okay. Uh, for base, in case you guys like need more further clarification, Egregorians are basically like giant bug people right. that uh, have sentient intelligence. I must admit, mm. I've heard rumors of Ectus E1. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of them left, but they're are, they're still very present. Are they the ones that like carved out this vast cavern over time, or was it always here? As far as you know, uh, as far as we've known, we've just found this cavern and made a home of it. We didn't necessarily carve out this whole thing. That would be ridiculous. But the, the tunnels that led us here were made by the Egregorians. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. To be honest, mm. I was expecting our... Uh little introduction populace a lot worse out uh where am i going from here i've just jumped all around all of my notes because it has all of this information split up in like 50 different sections yeah that's fair that's great especially like specifically the call you had earlier with uh, Dethal, they gave me a lot of this information based on the info you had at the time of the call. I see. And then, like, parsing that within this current information within what, like, else further is known. <laughs> oh, you do. They give me so much shit here. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. But uh, you're led through the van into uh, on the like outskirts of the city's administrative district, um, or where kind of there are some quarters available to you guys. Uh, you get led out of the van and led onto a street that's uh, kind of like blocked on either end by uh, basically just guards. They're kind of just keeping people out of the street and uh, away from this area. Um, and you're told that you may leave 
the quarters and explore the city, but uh, first get permission from Dethal, as she is now responsible for you guys having brought you in to their city, kind of, you know, without any sort of permission herself. I see. Um, and if you wish to leave your quarters, um, just in general to leave the quarters, not necessarily explore the city, uh, you must be accompanied by some handlers. Not to, you know, take charge of you, but just, you know, precautions. Yes. And more for safety. But otherwise, they kind of, the people you meet, well, assumedly, like, the handlers that would be going with you kind of just saying that, like, they'd be happy to answer any uh, questions you have or explain anything that might seem unusual to you. Mm -hmm. Fair. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. That's the vibe <laughs> I'm getting right now. You do not sell cabbage in Ba Sing Se. Mm -hmm. uh, they do like make s subtle recommendations about like where you guys can go visiting the uh, the market districts, uh, yeah. the various parks around the uh, the waterfront, as well as the uh, entertainment that they have uh, set up. Uh, any word on when we'll be having our meeting, or has that not been officially? Probably want to do that right away. <laughs> well, they might need time to set it up, which is why I'm at. Yeah, uh, for for the moment, Dethal was kind of like pulled aside to go meet with. Um, oh, the, okay. Uh, I thought she was still with us. No, she she basically guides you guys in the van to this location, and then basically politely excused herself as she got pulled away by that uh, other officer that you saw. All right. Well, everyone, you heard the recommendation. Don't make trouble, please. Yeah, at this point, uh, you guys have been awake for quite a while now, so this would be like a time to actually like head into the quarters, maybe yeah. like actually get some shut eye. I think that's. And this is probably Bedtime. where I will cut it off, as I do need to go into work tomorrow morning. All right, fair enough. Well, we didn't get into any combat, but you know this was an interesting turn of events. That's because we came this way. Yeah, that is true. Uh, if we had gone back to Evergreen, we would have almost certainly gotten into combat. Sorry, Kyle. I still want to know what the uh, <laughs> other deciphered messages you got were. Uh, well, I would probably come Actually, see, see you before uh, if we had a minute where we... Actually, know. one one quick thing I, I can leave you out on uh, is that after you guys get some rest and kind of gather your bearings, kind of, you know, take in this whole new situation that you've come to in. Uh, Dethal does quickly meet up with you guys once again and explain the uh, the situation she's undergoing. Uh, is that she does not believe that High of Home or Evergreen will survive by themselves. And, that we can agree. Uh, in a few days... The leaders of the Hussein United Colonies, or HUC, are going to have a meeting to decide how to proceed against the war with the machine. Uh, and she wants you guys there as representatives of Evergreen and to help convince the leaders to assist with Evergreen and continue the fight against the machine. Okay. Yes. Graves would 100% agree. Neither this colony or Evergreen will survive on their own. The battle we cannot win without working together. Uh, Landing. And then this is the 12th of November? Yeah. 12 November 23. Cool. And with that, I'm going to then update this. Do, 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 do. Choose the image. 
cool. There we go. Mission. Alley and cry. I'm under. Ooh, okay. I like it. I think that's the right call. Yes. Okay, and that is where I'm going to end this session as you guys have arrived into this mysterious land under the land. Under the also, I land will go into the, the... I will state... Uh, I would meet up at night at some point. Coded. Uh, the additional lines we got were Do not fear this. Forgive me. Memories gone not intentional. Mm. It is fine to be afraid. I wish I only wish to explore. Uh, mm. To experience. Mm. I don't know how Sounds much like you can trust that, but uh, there you go. Murdering a human. Yeah. Sounds like so, we don't know what that means. Figure it out. Uh, can you just send that to me? Yeah, I'll in send it through. Chat. Uh, I'll send it through chat. Just so I can Copy. put it in my notes. You want me to send it how I currently have it, like laid out? Yeah, if you could, because it doesn't yeah, I got do you. That. So it it wasn't even you didn't use like an algorithm to like like a cipher or anything. You just literally had plain text among just a bunch of random shit, and that was what she had to like read the message from, or. I will be fully straight up and honest. I went in to one of my random Steam games, opened up one of the files that was in a specific data file into Notepad, got all of the jarbled, jumbled yeah. computer text, pasted it with some actual text at the very beginning, yeah. and let Leah do. Yeah. <laughs> and he basically so it was he completely undecipherable. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. He just he, fucked he was... up. All right, but hey, hey, the first the thing word. I sent her did have a cipher to that it. That is true. That is true. You did send her something. Yes, I remember yep. that one. Yep, that right that there. Caesar cipher? That that has a hidden message in it that I have specifically put in. Eventually, we'll... Oh, yeah, that string. So that's got to be like a Caesar cipher. Or yeah, it's probably some low level Rotate. cipher. Or it's just leet speed, like heavy leet speed. Mm. But regardless, wait, did you guys, right? Did you not actually decipher that one? I didn't. Honestly, I forgot about it after last session. I was planning on taking the time to do it, but I totally. You just want the answer right now? I mean, I could. If I'm probably gonna have it deciphered by the next session. Uh, speaking of next session, are we good for next Sunday? As far as I'm aware, yeah. yes. Right, fantastic. Then with that confirmation, I will go do my outro. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully. Did. Did. All right, everyone. That was not as long of a session as normal, but still got quite a bit done. That was not the route I was expecting to go down. But I was fully expecting to get kicked back when I said, let's side with the rebels. But, uh, huh. It worked out. Uh, thanks, everybody, so much for watching, if you still are. Uh, if you enjoyed and would like to catch more streams, you can hit the follow button to turn on notifications live. I also have a Discord channel that's linked in my Twitch bio that will allow you to look at my weekly schedules, and if any update changes to that schedule occur, I upload them post-haste. The night will be uploading the schedule for this coming week, although I'll tell you, tomorrow we're starting SMT4 Apocalypse, Tuesday we're probably playing some Paper Mario, and we'll be playing Pathfinder and Lancer on Friday and Sunday, respectively as well as my normal Thursday and Friday streams of what will likely be. Regardless, thank you everybody so much for watching, and have a good night. That's the wrong one. That's starting soon. On that one. Yeah, there we go. All right, have a good night, everyone.